Howdy folks, how the hell are you? Welcome back to Resident Evil 2 Revelations. A low-key great game. Great, great game. What's up, Ethan? How you doing today, fam? Ugh. Yeah, I got my I got my cafe fe here. I got me a hot pocket for lunch that I'm gonna chow down on here in a little bit. So we should be good. Should have no problems with an extended stream today. Pending internet issues. Pending the internet holds up. Story-wise, you'll be done around four and a half hours. Like four and a half hours from where I'm at now or four and a half hours total. Hell yeah, we live, Matt. Heck yeah, fam. Okay, rewards. I want to say, because I've already beat the first two levels. So is it four and a half hours total or four and a half hours for the first two levels? Oh, from where I am now? Okay, that's not bad. I can live with it. I mean, it's a great story. So, I mean, it's, it's the, the time just flies. Previously on Revelations 2. Mother of both! My life is awesome! That bitch stuck a needle in me? Here's the virus. Claire, get up to the roof! See? We're like sisters. Oh, my dear little brigand. That's cheating. Claire, we lost the girl. Moira was trying to get to that tower when I was with her. Barry, there's something right there. I've been waiting for you. Wait. Well, that's one hell of a parking job. Me and Moira got separated here. The nice guy came and got me. The nice guy. Natalia. Oh, yeah, that that cloaked lady's definitely the bad guy. Whoever, whoever the bad person is in this game, I keep saying bad guy. It's obviously it's a gal. Like we all heard her voice. But yeah, that's the one. I probably should have looked more in depth at this trophy list. I still have no clue uh, what the the I, I know I have to beat like all the levels on countdown mode and all the levels on invisible enemy mode at some point. But beyond that, that's beat the game, do that. Pretty sure there's one for shooting all the collectibles. Claire, any luck? No. No sign of her. What could have happened? Moira, look. Someone left a message. It says, head for the factory. And on a scale of bullshit to believable? Neil wrote this. It's legit. Hey, all I'm gonna say is this is like the second time Claire has quite literally lost the child she was supposed to be protecting. Between Sherry, Birkin, and Natalia. Like, do not leave your children with Claire. They will most certainly get kidnapped. I guess that's the decoys. It should be, it's probably this way I'd imagine, right? I can't believe we lost the girl. I didn't even ask her name. She might've just taken cover. We can look for her as we go. I better meet up with Moira. Gosh damn, why is she taking so long? Look, I'm already finding the way to go, Mora. Get your get your head in the game. Come on, girl. We both know you're almost as smart as me. Okay, so we're going to the factory. Got it. That's probably not a good thing. Factories in horror games so, uh, always end badly. Why would the boss come here? I don't know. I hit Maybe 
take that from here? Does things sometimes. I can hit that from here. <laughs> hey! Okay, well, we need to load up. Um, are there any co-op RE games? This one's co-op, and so is Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6. All three of those games are co-op. Technically speaking, uh, Operation Raccoon City is if you have two PlayStation 3s. Raccoon City is also co-op. But most people try to forget that one. Okay, well, we need all the BP we can get. I'm not spending any BP until the end of the game, but uh, I am I'm, I'm collecting it. Yo, what's up, Norbert? How's it going, fam? Welcome to the Kierling, where all things come to an end. It's her again. Mm. It's like she's got eyes everywhere. Yeah, probably I'm security cameras. Right I mean, this is her entire island. Like, she has an entire island. I'm fairly confident she's smart enough to put up security cameras. Oh, sh Oh, I thought that was a dude for a second. Okay. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? No. I'm assuming I need the key card off of that dude to open that, but I want to loot first in case we get attacked by a bunch of people. That way I don't have to loot in the middle of it. What do you got in there for me? Ooh, a machine pistol ammo case. Clearly not of use to Moira. Okay, so I know I need the key card off of the dude. Oh my goodness. The Resident Evil 5 in it up. Look at that. I know they were hiding gems like in Resi 5. I've probably missed so much good stuff. Okay, that looks like everything. Whoa, 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 what was that? Oh, no, that was, a, yeah, that was mantling. Okay. Yeah, see, dude's definitely got a key card here. Behold Prometheus, who was bound to a rock for stealing divine power. That's nice. Where's Neil? If you want to see him again, you'll have to brave the scaffold of the gods. The what? Oh, son of a biscuit eater. Just grab the... We've got to hurry. I guess I don't need the key card. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Well, Prometheus was uh, punished by the gods for stealing fire and giving it to humans, allowing them to evolve. And then he spit eternity chained to a rock, getting his liver eaten every single day. And then it would just grow back after it got eaten by a... I think it was a crow or a eagle, maybe. I don't remember that part. Um, any, ooh. no, 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 no. Yeah, we don't want the other boomstick. The other boomstick has like no power to it. We want, we want, we want put down power. I don't care about capacity. I want my shotgun to do work. This level has a lot of puzzles. Good to know. Uh, Norbert, what's next if I finish the Resident Evil games? I actually have no idea. Um, I'm gonna let the, uh, the green chatters, uh, the paid members of the channel kind of decide what I do next. Uh, I'll give, like, four options. Uh, it'll be another, like, extended series, at least three or four, ooh, games per series. But I've kicked the can around. I'm thinking uh, just some series that I would like to do. I would like to do like Silent Hill. Shoot balls. Um, Silent Hill is one that I would like to do. Um, Assassin's Creed, 
Grand Theft Auto, Bioshock, Uncharted, God of War. But we'll see. Um, don't forget Outbreak. Are you talking about Resident Evil Outbreak? I've never played that one, so I, I didn't know if that one was uh, uh, multiplayer or not. I guess I'd need a key. Do I really not have no herbs? Really? That's not good. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I figured that wasn't going to fly. No, I want, I want fire bombs. Yo, what language is he speaking right now? Anybody know? It ain't English. That ain't English. Yeah, Silent Hill could be fun. Silent Hill could definitely be fun. I've never, I've only ever played Silent Hill 4, so. Haven't played any of the other ones. I heard Silent Hill, it's either 1 or 2 is, is brutal. I can't remember which one it is where you have the rowboat. Um, but I've heard it's pretty brutal. Then we got games like Downpour, I think, has a platinum. And if it doesn't have a platinum and it's in the Silent Hill uh, franchise, I'll probably just like play it on Xbox. Start adding some Xbox games into the rotation. Look at this a-hole right here. He didn't even see me. Okay, well, uh... Pass. Pass. Oh, there we go. Oh, gosh damn it. I just wasted it. I just wasted it. Gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna die. There's I'm I'm so gonna die. I thought I had enough distance. Gosh damn it. Yeah, I'm tracking they turn into bombs, but I was trying to trigger them like I did on the old on Resident Evil Revelations, where I like sprint past them to get them to blow up. But I thought I had enough distance. I clearly didn't. Can't go in here yet, I take it. A retinal scanner in a factory? God damn this. Yeah, yeah. It's not gonna let us through. She's got a point. Which means we need someone else's eyeball? Correct. Yay. I mean, she does have a point. Why would you need a retina a retina scanner in a Ugh. factory? Like of course this factory had to be a I get it, factories have security too, but like come on now, that's that's a bit much. It's Russian. This place takes place on an island between the Nordic Sea around Sweden. Okay. I kind of figured it was uh, something like just from those symbols right there that I've been seeing. I, I figured it was some kind of like Northern European language. Whether that be, you know, Russian, Swedish, uh, Ukrainian. Damn. A processing plant key. I need an eyeball. Nope. Okay. I guess we can go this way. Claire? Okay. Puzzle. Shit balls. Okay. Uh, I take it as soon as I touch that key, the puzzle will trigger and that door is going to lock. Yep. The cage is going to go down as soon as I touch the key. So let's do a little bit of prep here. Okay, I cannot shoot the chains. Okay, so there's an artificial... Check it out. It's got a key in its 
Yeah. Let's find a way to pry it loose. Uh. Uh, that'll work. There we go. Uh, uh, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh! It's like it was slow mowing it as we got smushed to death. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Look at the ceiling. Okay. 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 I'm. Uh. There's an artificial eye. We gotta get. We gotta wait till that explodes to get the key. Okay, uh Let me think Yeah, I guarantee you I'm overthinking it as well like I'm, I'm getting like way too analytical about it It's probably not difficult at all Okay, that goes down we got some cogs here some chains here. What's up endless? How's it going fam? Okay, so that is there. That's just a thing to tell us that that's happening. You should just accept your death quietly like a grown-up. See if there's anything here. Ah, oh, no, nah, fam. We've only, been, we've only been streaming for like 10, 15 minutes. We just started. It's going to be a long one today, so buckle up. I'll be here for a while. Probably on this puzzle for a while. Can I not move those? No, I cannot move those. Okay, well let's uh let's see if I can figure it out on the fly. It's got a key in its beak. Find a way to pry loose. Okay, uh Ah, okay. There we go. Got it. That makes sense. That's an old school resi trick right there. That is an old school Resident Evil trick. Okay, come on, dude. I, I don't. Have, I do not have time to play with you, bro. I hate wasting so much ammo, but I don't have a choice. I'm like one hit away from death. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, girl. She's a good decoy. She's a good decoy. Maybe let the key statue get destroyed, then put the artificial eye back. Yep, good call. I had to get, like, all old school with my technique there for a second. They haven't done a puzzle like that in a Resident Evil game in a minute. I actually can't think of the last puzzle in a Resident Evil game where you have to put something back. After you get it. Oh, 
Gosh, damn, this puzzle box is killing me. Yeah, there's one. Two, there we go. Uh, I missed the first stream. How was Pedro? Uh, pa was Pedro the guy that crashed the, the helicopter? Is that who Pedro was? Oh. Written in Russian. I did everything I could, but it looks like I'm going to disappoint my parents after all. I can't save the family factory. There are no orders coming in. Nothing I can do about that. It's got to be her fault, no doubt about it. She's been persistent in her efforts to drive us out of here. Looks like she's going to get her way. She knows there's no way for us to fight back. Just who does she think she is anyway? Acting like some kind of all-powerful dictator. But the way things are now, it would be impossible to openly oppose her while living here on this island. I don't really have a choice. I have to do what she wants. At least she promises I can stay on as the chief. Okay, so he's probably going to be some semblance of a boss fight, I imagine, right? Okay, now we're we're loaded up on ammo. Helicopter was Gabe. Was Gabe? Uh, I don't know exactly who Pedro is. I guess. Ah, see, that's what I was trying to do right there. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, I never thought about going through the open window. Uh, if Pedro was the first guy with the drill, I, I just ran away from him. I didn't bother killing him. Not doing too bad, God of War. How you doing, fam? I feel like that one right there might have been a glitch in the matrix. Okay, that's the one that needs the retinal scanner, right? Oh, I killed him as Barry? Okay, got it then. I guess that makes sense, because I, I, for some reason, I just thought it was, was Gabe. I thought I just killed Gabe and he happened to also have a drill which I guess doesn't make a whole lot of sense I don't know why I was thinking about it that way but so that, that whoever asked I guess that answers your question I killed him as Barry I don't think I died too many times I may, maybe once There we go. Now we're... Nope, wrong room. Wrong room. Don't want to go back in here. I remember there was another door somewhere around here that required the processing plant key. Nope, nothing in the turlets. I know, right? That's what I was saying. Like, it doesn't matter if you cut off your hand if you crash a helicopter in the process. You still die. Had this... Doing pretty good. You just had to say goodbye to your... New number one in fiction. That's, uh... That's a bummer, fam. Not 100% sure what you mean, but it sounds like a bummer. I can tell you exactly where he is, Icky. He's in the fiery depths of hell right now. Man's dead. Black Hawk down. I mean, I guess in Black Hawk down, they did survive. So technically, 
or the the helicopter pilot in Black Hawk Down did survive. So, you know, maybe he isn't dead. Maybe he just crashed the helicopter and ran off like a real big bitch baby. Who knows? I guess we'll. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Don't go dying on me. Okay, well, I'm not trying to go dying on you. I just happened to die on you. Not the same thing. don't think we should go any further. Right. No sudden moves. Let's back up and think this through. How about you think it through? Because I clearly have a path here. I swear, Claire, if you get me killed right here. I also don't understand how they're not honing in on me just because I'm following these footsteps, but I'll take it. I mean that was a good plan. That was that was a solid plan. Don't go dying on me. I don't know why it didn't work. Okay, you you stay there. You you stay there. Oh shit. I really don't think we should go any further. Right. No sudden moves. Let's back up and think this through. Gosh damn. This is one hell of a route to get here, but I did it. Ah, oh, so I gotta steal this champ's eyeball. Got it. Could be useful. Oh, so I steal this eyeball, and this eyeball goes in the death room, and then I can get the real person's eyeball. Okay. We're probably gonna get jumped by the entire matrix at this point. What? I'll deal with it later. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's what we gotta do. We gotta go in there. We gotta go in there. See, I knew the rest of the Matrix was gonna pop out here. Okay. Wait, who, who has it in there? I guess it doesn't matter who has it in their inventory, huh? And now we can leave. This might work back at that retinal scanner. Yeah, yeah, yeah Gabe, Gabe crashed a helicopter. Sense, That's what happened. Does. Gabe crashed a helicopter trying to cut off his own hand at the same time as pilot a crashing helicopter, so. Uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations did Altair some well-deserved death that really showed how much he changed the Creed and Brotherhood. Ah, I couldn't tell you, fam. Never played that one. Woo! Baby, that seems like a magnum, and that's got Mama Redfield's name written all over it. Anything else good in here? Oh my gosh, have I been running past herbs and stuff this entire time? Probably. Yeah, the fear got to him when he was crashing the helicopter, and he started... Uh, turning, so he tried to cut his hand off to prevent himself from turning, and then he ended up crashing the helicopter anyway. Moira, look inside that corpse. Is that what I think it is? Uh, it's glowing. What's this supposed to be? 
looks like some kind of body part. There's a map here, too. Here's where the waterways under the factory connect to the tower. But that asshole statue is blocking the way in. You know, the gods punished Prometheus by sending an eagle to eat his liver. Ah, it was an eagle. So, ah, now I know what this is supposed to be. Okay, so the fake liver goes in the Prometheus statue. Got it. Okay. See, I knew I knew what I was doing. Like, I knew... I, I know my Greek and Roman mythology, all right? I may not know Egyptian and Norse mythology very well, but I know my Greek mythology, fam. I was all about that stuff in high school. Okay, let's... Can I put this... What does this do? Parts for shotguns? Ooh, focus the spread. I like that. I like upgrades for... Can I do focus and scatter at the same time? Doesn't Isn't that kind of counterintuitive? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Because if I use focus Neil, and scatter at the same time, they you? cancel each other out. Neil, what about the girl? Nope. It's not like the evil within. Yeah, Pedro wasn't the smartest. So, oh. Okay, so she's going to open that so that I can get the other liver. Probably. Right? Ooh, retina scanner. Got it. Uh, putting less spread on a shotgun sounds like a bad idea. I mean... Not really. They must have kept animals in here. Because, like, the like a slug, right? A slug's one of the most powerful rounds you can put. I think it actually is the most powerful round you can put in a shotgun, and it just sends one big bullet, and it puts a hole about yay big in something. So it should up the damage with it, meaning you do more damage to one individual but it depends like are you trying to shoot more than one person because otherwise you want to do the spread but it just depends right now i'm kind of like in the spread because i can hit a couple people and then run past them so i think i'm gonna stick with the spread for now factory chief's journal number two my factory is ruined ruined and it's all thanks to her what the hell is the meaning of all those traps she set? She says security. I've never seen security like that. What the hell is secure about any of this? She's got some twisted ideas in her head. It must be her parents' fault. Who knows what kind of horrible abuse they subjected her to. I gotta watch my temper. I went too far and started yelling at her. She showed me, though. She reneged on her promise, and now she's running the show. I don't want to piss her off anymore, so I keep my mouth shut. I know my place, and that place is staying alive. After all, all I have left is my life. I mean, you got a good point, because she definitely, like, ganked your factory from you, bro. What's my favorite weapon across all Resident Evil games? Um, favorite weapon? Mm. Give me a second. I'm trying to eat my lunch here. Um. Probably the Lightning Hawk Magnum. Or the bow from Resident Evil 5. Just letting you know, gamer, I censor my swears for your content awakening because you're a great YouTuber. Hey, thanks, fam. I I appreciate it. I thought for a second you were trying to say something else, and then I realized what you said. Most people I know say it's kind of difficult, yeah. Siva Shaw, yeah, I agree with that. Most people say it's pretty difficult. It's not the most difficult in the series, though. I, I, 
Obviously, I don't have the plat yet, but I think Code Code Veronica is probably the hardest in the series. Don't worry, fam. I'm almost done here. Maybe I should start eating on stream and then just chomping really loud into the microphone and then making it an ASMR TikTok. Hmm? Not the most difficult. I agree with that. It's one of the hard ones. Yeah, I'd say it's probably in the top top three or four hardest ones, if I had to guess. From what I've heard, anyway. Random question, if you ever hit a million subs in your life as a YouTuber, what's the plan for it? I don't know. I've never really thought that far ahead, because I'm only at, like, 30... I think I'm almost at 4,000 subs right now. If I ever hit a million? I don't know. I'd do something pretty big, I guess. I'd probably do, like, uh... I don't know, some kind of, like, 48 hours straight stream or something like that. And just try and platinum as many games as possible or something crazy like that. I don't know. At that point, I would be... If I if I had a lot of subs like that, I could definitely be full-time on it. I'd be live streaming, like, eight hours every day, probably. That'd be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. The steak magnum got a war isn't the steak are you talking about the wolfsbane magnum the one with all like the design stuff on it oh, i'm almost out of coffee we're like 20 subs away from 4k subs yeah dude we're pretty close like we're we're dangerously close. We're flirting with it. We're flirting with it right now. Trying to see if we can get that first date with 4K, you know? There we go. Now we're talking. That's very ominously placed right there. Three. Two. One. Thought I was gonna sneeze there. Guess not. Okay, come here, big boy. Can can Claire knife? Yeah, okay, she can, she can. It's not as cool as when Barry does it. For some reason, the knife when Barry does it, it just hits different, you know? Oh shit balls. Rules always there? Okay, that's that's the same room I just went in. Oh, hmm. The steak? Is that like one you have to buy after you've beaten the game then it's maybe? A for killing livestock. I don't know that I've ever actually bought the magnums after you've beaten the game. Something's coming. I really want to go down in here. What? Ooh. Okay, not that way. There we go. Okay. Ooh, gosh. I don't like that. I, I don't like... Shit balls. Okay, he knows where we're at. He knows where we're at. Okay. Time to just end him. Oh, what? Come on. Dude, are you, is she seriously just, okay, you know what? Keep getting hit by him. Oh, 
did he just do a triple hit? There we go. I probably just really pissed Icky off right there because I refused to use the Magnum on this guy. The Magnum probably would have schwacked him in like two hits. But you never know. Maybe we'll get to a boss fight and actually need it. Hey, I'm okay with it, fam. Like, I'm one of those people. I'm not a big fan of online co-op. I am much more a fan of couch co-op because that's what I grew up playing. So I'm kind of glad that it has couch co-op. I wish that there were more games with couch co-op. Like, they need to bring back, like, split screen co-op. Okay, not everybody wants to have full screen and be on the internet. So I killed that. that. That was probably the only guy in here. See, that's what I'm saying, dude. Couch co-op for the dub. Oh, dude. I could have I could have blew up fatty. Okay. I guess I know that for next playthrough when he's invisible. He's cloth. Go ahead and heal up. It's a fat boy. Yeah, fatty boombalati is all I know. That is all I know, fam. That's not what I wanted to do. What in the evil within is that enemy? Yeah, fat, Fatty Boombalati. I mean, you can't really go wrong with calling him a, a Fatty Boombalati. Like, that's pretty much my go-to nickname for all the big chung guy that they have in these games. I know in Resident Evil 6, the big fat zombies are called Whoppers. So we might just call that guy the Big Mac. I think for this game, I'm just going to start calling them Big Macs. I just realized I'm playing Minecraft as a 22-year-old gamer watching you play this game. And I thought Minecraft was Resident Evil for a second. Gonna be a bit of a hot take, fam. I have never once played Minecraft. I've never played Minecraft in my life. Uh, having both options for local co-op and online co-op would be great. Yep, that's... I like that. I like that. I think every game... Well, first off, I think 99% of games... If the game gives you an NPC character that runs around with you... You should be able to do the game co-op. That's that's just my opinion. But yeah, we're going to call them. We're calling them Big Macs for sure. It's probably a bad idea to start that, but I probably have to, huh? Shoot. Uh, I probably should have pulled that lever, huh? I think I'm screwed. Well, we'll just stand in the corner and see if it gets us through. Should have pulled the damn lever. Yeah, there is a plat for Minecraft. I've seen it on some of the easiest platinums ever. The videos on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought to myself, I was like, there's no way I'm going to need to pull this lever. I should have pulled the lever. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait. Okay. Ah, okay, got it. Okay, I see what I gotta do. Wait. Okay. 
I gotta keep her in there so that whenever these turn on, she can turn it off. Too easy. Uh, how did they not get stuck in the middle? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they didn't like kill each other there, but it is what it is. Sadly, I am busy. I can't watch stream when it gets started in the perfect time for my time zone. Hey, no problem, fam. Like I said, they're always after the stream. I always keep it live right afterwards. I always unlist it, but it's in the, the playlist section. Unfortunately, you just won't get to see it live live. But the video is still there. And then I think... Hold on a second. I spent all weekend, like, literally just editing VODs. And I've got... I'll have VODs on the VODs channel all the way till the 13th of June. Here pretty soon. But that'll get us all the way through the Evil Within. And then after that, I'll start, up, I'll start uploading these to the VODs channel. Uh, which are a little bit easier to find. Uh, more regularly. I see something in the tank. A redstone update. Not sure I know exactly what a redstone is. Oh, that's the liver. Okay. Looks like I gotta. I gotta drop that in there and meat grind it. Ain't nothing wrong with Minecraft. I mean, it looks fun. I've just never played it. Okay, so I'm assuming I got to drop it in there with this. But considering how many traps have happened every single time I've done something, I expect it not to be this easy. This is probably an expansion for Moira. It's probably a pack expansion for her. I mean, I think mine, I think, I think Minecraft is still the most played game in the world on a daily player level, like on a daily basis. I still think it is Minecraft and I think it's Fortnite after that and then GTA 5. So, I mean, it's gotta be good, right? I might give it a shot someday. This is doing nothing. Okay. Do I shoot it off of there, maybe? Ah, yes, I do. Okay, so I gotta fill that up. It's like a saw trap. It's like a saw trap, basically. Except instead of, like, using my own arms to make a to solve the puzzle. I'm using slabs of meat instead of sawing my own arms off. Why did that one not drop in there? I just had to hit the I had to hit the right spot. We have to add more. Okay, probably probably two more. 
Probably two more. I mean, this definitely beats... Like I said, this definitely beats a saw trap where I'd have to, like, chop off my own leg or something. So I, I wouldn't be judging too much, Moira, okay? I've seen all the saw movies. It could be a whole lot worse. Oh my gosh, there's a lot more I gotta put in there. Jeez Louise. How much blood do you want, lady? No, that was too far. Okay, so I think I, I, think I have, to, have to hit the third rung before the caution part. Okay, let's try the fourth, the fourth rung. So I think I have to hit right here. If I release the lever right there, I think it'll stop in the caution every time. But obviously we'll see. I could be completely wrong. Eh, maybe the fifth rung? I, think, I don't think that's going to make it. It did? It did? Okay. Oh, come on, dude. That, that's all you got, Mr. Bojangles? Let's go, baby. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Lots of lots of blood. Definitely really evil with any. I can get behind that. Oh, look at that. That one was perfect. This should be the last one I have to drop in there. Oh my gosh. Something fell out of the tank. Yep, I know. It's the it's the liver. Why don't you you not worry about the Big Macs, okay? I guess that's not a Big Mac. Those are just exploders. Those are those are quarter pounders. The guys that expand and explode, they're just quarter pounders. They're not a true Big Mac. Hey, there's a Big Mac. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. And we should just be able to run, right? Uh, I heard liver tastes good. I've had chicken liver. Chicken liver tastes like uh, a more bitter chicken nugget. It tastes exactly like a chicken nugget. It's just bitter. Or a little bitter. So... But I, I've never had, like, cow liver or anything like that. There we go. Ah, so that's why they had this altar. You freaking assholes. Looks like we're fighting the Big Mac. Come on, Moira. Oh, there it is. That, that's our opening. That's our opening. Okay. I don't have a tourniquet, so it looks like I'm just going to bleed out. Just keep going. Just keep running. Just keep running. You don't need to be able to see... Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're not good because I'm still bleeding like a stuffed pig. Oh, okay. So you do recover from bleeding. Uh, what's up, Dakota? How's it going? Yeah, I'm usually live Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. This is the first, uh, but I usually don't go live at noon. The only reason I'm live so early today is because it's a federal holiday and I have today off. Normally, I don't go live till 7, so 7 hours from now. Or I guess six hours from now, it's 31. Okay, this should do it. Ooh, he's bleeding from his eye holes here. Oh, I should have. 
fucking known. And we all had a blast. Come on. That was so smart. Yeah, dude, that that part right there was 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 pretty brutal. Just wait till they're invisible and trying to escape that. That's going to suck. Is that better than my my handgun now? Okay, so that automatically put it in the workbench. Okay, good. I was like, I don't want to lose it. Oh, okay, so they knew what they, they knew what was up. They gave me a bunch of those. They knew what was up. Because they gave me a bunch of herbs after that. I didn't know you could recover from those, though. I didn't know you could recover from bleeding without a tourniquet. That can't be good. Hey, glad you could stumble by. Dakota, glad you can make it. Resident Evil 5, personally, I think is the best video I've ever done on the channel. Um, that or Resident Evil Revelations. Oh, shit balls. Why is it that everywhere I go, the building just starts burning down around me? Every video game I play, this just starts to burn itself down. Well, how about I just boost you up here and we figure a way out of here together? You act like I know my way out of here, Moira. I know just as much about this place as you do. I'm just assuming when there's a broken ladder, I could shoot somebody up. Not doing too bad, Demon. How's it going, fam? I mean, I will say I'm making pretty good progress on this. There's only been a few times that I've actually died, so that's pretty good. What all do you have left on the Resi 5 Platinum? Of course, that's not going to work on him. He doesn't have eye testicles. Crap. Um, wait a minute. Was I not supposed to go there? What am I... Su what am I supposed to do? I guess she can hold her... I, I guess she can hold her own for now. I don't know. Entire children of the corn fighting me right now. Oh, uh, I guess I was probably supposed to shoot her, huh? Or shoot him. Do that! She held her own. I didn't need to shoot him. She over here beating the shit out of him. Okay, so not that way. I got two minutes. I'm probably gonna fail this because I don't know where the hell I'm going. Okay, gotcha. I didn't even see this. I could have just I could have just ran right past him. Okay, hopefully I didn't waste too much time there. The game's been pretty forgiving with time limits so far, so I, 
I hope it keeps up that trend. Okay, go right. Yeah, I, I don't want to read the book. Uh, this way? No, not that way. Not that way. Okay, I guess it is that way. Okay, uh... Uh... To move forward with no knowledge is to risk your life. Choose with the proper knowledge. However, the answer may not lie before you. This guy, maybe? Okay, it's not the one all the way to the right. Even though the arrows are pointing me that way, that's not the right one. Okay. Um, I have not platinumed the Evil Within 2. Um, because it hasn't necessarily won the fan suggestion yet. So, on the Discord right now, I do have the next fan suggestion pull up. Uh, the Evil Within is winning like 6-2, to two, I think. Okay, here we go, here we go. No, get off of that! It's just pick it up! I mean, I'm probably about to get my ass beat by MC Hammer over here. But we're gonna make it look like I know what I'm doing. Hopefully he can't climb. Although, to answer your question, Demon, I would love to do... Uh, the Evil Within 2. Some people think it's harder than Akumu mode, so... How am I supposed to tell? They're all identical. Okay, well, I guess I'll just, uh, send it. Oh, come on! Okay, well, try number three. Let's go. The puzzle didn't help me. It just says, like, hey, the answer's not in front of you. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go second to the left this time. Okay, I'm just gonna let this guy hit me. I'm gonna let MC Hammer here have his fun for a second. And then I'm gonna squeeze. And then I'm gonna squeeze. And then I'm gonna squeeze by him. I guess you can't actually squeeze by him. Okay, let's try this again. No, I don't want to connect to the Roku. Sorry about that. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna kill him. Like, it lets you kill him in like three hits. He has like no health. I mean, he died in, what, five hits? Okay, we're good. We're good. 
Uh, the Discord link is in the description below. Like, if you just go to the description of this live stream, it should be in there. It should have a link directly to it. Oops, I forgot. I forgot to turn the valve. I forgot to turn the valve. Okay, here we go. Try that again. Try that again. What did I say I was going to do? I was going to do second from the left this time. So I've tried three. It's obviously got to be the one furthest to the left. I guess that... I guess when you think about it, the only one that's... Gosh damn it. Turn. Try it again. Furthest to the left. Furthest to the left. Let's go. You jack wagon, just die. Okay. So now that I've tried all of them, it should this should be it. We should be good. Hey, thanks for joining, Dakota. Much appreciated. Um uh, I'm sorry, gamer, I gotta go to work right now, but please feel free to let me know we're caught up on what happens. Okay, I wanna make sure I'm listening. Yep, uh the video will be uh in the playlist section after this so you can catch the rest of it it just won't be live anymore okie dokie now that i know which one of you it is it's this freaking a-hole right here what Every damn one. Okay, so maybe it's random. And I have to use the flashlight to find out which one it is. Maybe that's what I have to do. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try and use the... Maybe the flashlight shows which one it is. Let's try that. Because if, if, if the flashlight doesn't tell me which one it is, I don't really know what else I can do. to look from up there son of a okay I know what I need to do now she can look behind and see which one ah look at that I didn't I just guessed I'm the best guesser on the planet look at that shit come get some baby come get Mora get your ass in here girl But the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to use Mora from over there and look over the wall and you can see. We 
Was it good for you too? <laughs> was on. it good for Let's you just get too? Out of here. I can't believe you decided to drop a sexual innuendo there. That's hilarious. The waterway that goes to the tower. But anyway, what I was saying was you're supposed to use Mora to look down on the back side and it'll show you which one's good. But I guess they are random each time. Because that, that's got to be the only way because I, I totally hit that one at least once. I know I selected it once. Neil and the girl weren't in the factory. No. I should have listened to you. Neil didn't write that message. He couldn't have. Ow. Holy Who are you? Crap. What do you want? Put it down. Fuck. Is he with Terra Save? I not know this thing you are speaking. No bracelet. Why don't you have a bracelet? Do I look like a woman to you? Holy shit, Leaf. You don't know what's going on? You've got to get out of here before it's too late. <laughs> Never. I stay my home. Now go away. You people come to our beautiful island and take everything away. Whatever bad things happening now, do not ask me to. Okay, that's fine. That, uh, that, that's a fair trade. Fair trade, old man. I'm okay with it. Okay, 130. It does. It it does do a lot more. Uh, so we are going to swap all of this stuff. So let's remove all of these. And then we're going to put you here. And then we're going to upgrade you with capacity, damage, and... Fire rate. Yep, I like fire rate. Because then it fires about as good as the other pistol does. So that's that's pretty solid. Uh, anything here? Quick load. I honestly probably need to put that on. Oh, I already got quick load on there. Guess I'll put it on there. Hey, there we go. Stupid dinosaur. I'm so sick of men like him. You mean men like Barry? You say hey, it's too much, and he goes right, just so he can feel like he means something. Yeah, my big brother was like that growing up too. I fuck up that one time. But yeah, I guess it was. I guess it was uh, randomized each time. But I got a lot. I got. I had uh, the golden horseshoe wrapped in four leaf clovers stuck up my poop shoot or something because it worked out fine. Uh, you didn't even post a link. Yeah, for some reason, certain keywords that people say sometimes it's taking it as a link uh that's just the the stream lab software because i don't actually use people for channel mods uh that's the best i can do to make sure people aren't spamming a bunch of dirty websites and stuff uh fly guy i platinum this game earlier this year it's pretty good dude i i'm enjoying it i haven't enjoyed a resident evil like this in a long time probably since Resident Evil Village came out and that's just because this is the first time in like since Resident Evil Village that I'm playing a Resident Evil game for the first time so well I mean I guess I did that with Zero HD and Code Veronica as well but um anyway yeah it's awesome I love it I'm having oodles of fun with it Was this the way to go? Did I just get lucky again? Well, there's a valve, so let's turn it and see what happens. I think I did get lucky. Hey, thanks for joining, Fox. Yeah, I, I've... I bought the entire Revelations 2 package when it was on sale uh, a little while ago. What the hell was the point of that? Maybe that's not the only one it opens?
but yeah this is definitely a a great great resident evil at least it has been so far maybe the ending butchers it but i really don't have that many complaints about it like at all to be honest that's the way i came in yeah that's a it's definitely got an extendo on it baby we got us one hell of an extended magazine on this bad boy I keep trying to turn off my light instinctively because, you know, I'm so traumatized by the evil within. And then I realize I don't need to turn off my light because I'm not triggering zombies. I think the only problem if the evil within two wins the fan suggested game is that i'm gonna get so used to resident evil again that i'm gonna have to re get used to the evil within and there's gonna be a massive learning curve Ooh. dude these are getting harder these are getting harder Uh, 31 shots for a pistol is definitely normal. I don't know if it's quite normal, but it's definitely not crazy. Right? Like right now, for the pistol that I have, for my personal pistol, it each magazine holds 21. 21 bullets. And that's just the stock magazine for it. It's not like I have a special magazine. Or maybe it holds seven, it's 17 or 21. I can't remember. But I can buy a, like a, a 40 round magazine for it if I wanted to. So like it's definitely pretty normal to have that many bullets in a pistol. Oh, I'm sure it was, fam. I'm sure. Like, to be quite honest, I'm fairly confident that the vast majority of people only watch. Oh, it's a Big Mac. Okay, he got me. He got me. What I was gonna say is I'm pretty sure people only watch for the rage clips, which is fine because the evil within was perfect for rage clips. Do I actually have to kill? Oh, okay. So I say I didn't think I actually had to open that. <laughs> that was the most thousand gamer IQ thing I think I've ever done in my life. That was such a thousand IQ play. Like, now don't jump off of there. There was probably some good stuff up there, but now we'll never know. But you're right, I did almost use the mag by accident there. Why is this thing not updating the chat? Okay, hold up, hold up. There it is. Sorry about that. My phone wasn't updating the chat, so I couldn't see it in that section. So it was still stuck on the part where we're talking about Gabe cutting his hand off. I usually try to have it in a couple locations so I don't miss as much. No. 
Yeah, I am not, uh, Dakota. I, the only thing, the vast majority of my channel is the Resident Evil videos. Um, but I did just get done streaming The Evil Within, and I got that platinum. But... I haven't made the YouTube video on it yet. Was I supposed to go down here or did I just screw myself over? I don't know what I'm doing here. Why did I open that? Why have I been spinning those valves? Again, I just wasted my time spinning that valve. Can I make anything? Can I make anything good? I can make some exploding bottles. Good, I needed some more. I can also make, I could have made some molly cocks, but I've been getting better luck with the explosives than I have the, the flames, the flame bombs. Hey, glad you were, glad you enjoyed uh, the most of, hopefully you enjoyed most of them. I guess that was a little cocky of me to assume you enjoyed the rest of them. Which one's your favorite one? I think out of all the platinum trophy videos on my channel, I think the, my favorite one's either Revelations or Resident Evil 5. Imagine an extended mag on a double barrel. I mean, what? I guess that's possible. I was trying to think of like, well, that doesn't make sense, but I mean, it's, it's technically possible. Oh yeah, right there, look at that. I'm shooting you right up the old poop shoot. You know, I thought, uh, I thought the MC hammers would be a lot tougher than they are. Are they normally that weak? Or is it just something else? Like an extended, like an extended magazine on a double barrel would be kind of cool, not gonna lie. Okay, there we go. Okay, we haven't really ran into anything noteworthy yet. But it's a sewer level. In almost every sewer game level in Resident Evil, there's always like a boss or an enemy that can one hit kill you like every single time. And I haven't ran into it yet, so that has me a bit worried. Because like the hardest thing they sent at us was the Big Mac? That was the hardest thing we've we've been facing so far. Oh, come on now. I can't chop that off. There might be a boss coming up. Yes, I was thinking the same exact thing, Icky. It's like you read my mind, fam. don't have a bottle do I oh she has a bottle okay, let's make another explosive and I think she has one more bottle so I should be able to make one more molly cock okay, uh, pass that to me because you don't need it you only need the decoys uh, give that to me because you don't need that either 
Because I'm pretty sure she heals when you're not using her. I think. Have I used any BP yet? Nope. I'm waiting until the end of the game. I knew that was a bad idea. I just knew. I was like, they put that alcohol there to lure me into this, and I'm going to fall off. Holy shit balls. He just leaped across there. Okay, there we go. There we go. Come on now. Okay, well, that'll work. The zombies in this game are kind of dumb. Oh, you jack wagon. I, I say they're kind of dumb and then he just pushed me off of there like a boss. So. Yeah, The Evil Within's definitely one of those games you're going to have to replay at least once to get the hang of. In my opinion. Okay, well. Just, just keep going. Just keep going. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Like, yeah, I'm like 95% certain that guy didn't mean to do that, but at the same time, he could have. Oh, gosh, damn it. I mean, let's be honest, though. It wouldn't be a Resident Evil without a sewer level, you know? Uh, but yes, I am not using any upgrades this one So that if I have so when I have to play on the harder settings I'll have the upgrades and it'll be a lot easier Plus I can say that I didn't use any upgrades gosh damn it. I'm so greedy. I'm so greedy Oh my gosh, they don't explode in the water. Oh my gosh, they don't explode in the water. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. Moira, you better hang on there, girl, because uh, I'm not coming to save you right now. Name a Resident Evil game without a sewer level. Resident Evil 5? <laughs> Look at the AI. <laughs> was just letting me walk behind him um <laughs> anyway <laughs> um i don't think resident evil 5 has a super level that might be like the only one
And of course, Claire is just over there getting her ass kicked because these two won't go up the ladder at the same time. Where Where's the sewer section in Resident Evil 5? Um, Resident Evil 7 doesn't have a sewer. I mean, you go under the house. Is underneath the house in the crawl, the flooded crawl section a sewer? No, but I think you're right. Resident Evil 7 does not have a sewer section. We must have reached the tower by now, right? I think so. What's this? Looks like a grave. Yeah, I'm not touching that shit the yet. Is just above us. Yeah, I am not touching that thing yet. Let's look for a way up. How about we look for some resources? Too bad she doesn't waste the decoys. Like, I would much rather her use the decoys than me have to swap to her and use the decoys. Man, I could have made a molly cock if I had just waited. If you wish to know the truth, swear your allegiance in order. Only then can you cast away your shackles of sin. To the first, you're always foolish, so you'll have no grave. To the second, you shall bear your visage upon your back. To the third, you shall neighbor the fourth by three, but one row behind. To the fourth, you shall lose your head. That's probably a puzzle. That's probably a puzzle. That's gotta be that's gotta be a puzzle of some sort. I don't know if that's the answer, but I'm gonna do the puzzle. Alright, so it's probably this one. We followed Master Alex to this island of Sabiched, which she has codenamed number 46. Our efforts have brought prosperity to the island, but more than that, we have come to help the Master achieve her goal of rebirth. You have performed splendidly in your tasks, even your final task to provide the Master with valuable data at the cost of your own lives. We are bonded in our servitude to the Master. I consider you my colleagues and my friends. I will help the Master to finish the work which we have all started. I promise that your sacrifices will not be a vain. May you rest in peace. Okay, so I guess whichever one I touch. Okay, to the first, you're always foolish, so you will have no grave. I don't want to do that. To the second, you shall bear your visage upon your back. To the third, you shall neighbor the fourth by three, but one row behind. Neighbor the fourth by three, but one row behind. You shall neighbor the fourth by three, but one row behind. This is the second row. Neighbor the fourth by three. Okay, this does not help, actually. Hmm. Okay, that's a row of four. Neighbor the fourth by three. Fourth, three, one row behind this one, maybe? I don't know. Oh, gosh. Uh, ah, okay. This one right here, no headstone. 
So this one is no headstone. You don't get a grave. Got it. Okay, that's the first one. The second you shall bear your visage upon your back. Uh, sure. What you got, fam? One of these should be turned around, maybe? This one, you shall lose your head. It doesn't have a head top. So what was the what was the puzzle again? To the second, you shall bear your visage upon your back. To the third, you shall neighbor the fourth by three, but one row behind. Neighbor the fourth by three, but one row behind. Neighbor the fourth by three, but one row behind. So it's this one. Unlock something. What's what's the release our sworn comrades? Oh, swear your allegiance in order. Okay, so I gotta go to the one with no headstone. Okay, that's the first one. Got it. Bear your visage upon your back. I'm assuming it's the one that's written. Everything's written on the back. That's actually that's actually a pretty good dad joke. Not going to lie. So it should be the one with the inscription on the back. What the hell? What in the halibut? None of these have writing on the back. Ah, here it is. It's this one. Okay, the third should be this one, I think, but I want to reread the thing real quick. The third, you shall neighbor the fourth by three, but one row behind. So, and the fourth one's headless. So, one, two, three, this one. Hmm. Neighbor the fourth by three, but one row behind. So one, two, three. I thought it'd be that one. Maybe it's this one. I think it's this one, actually. I think it's that one. Oops. But yes, I have to do it all again if I mess up the combination. One, two, three, this one. Yep, okay, I was right. I went backwards was the wrong way. Okay, what did I do? 
fucks the homies. I don't know if I was supposed to do this, but I seen the thing. There's a puzzle. It's Resident Evil. Ooh. Oh, I definitely like it. I that was such a good idea. That was such a good idea. Ooh, and some parts. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, I knew it. I knew it. I knew that cryptic puzzle and all that stuff was going to be worth it. And I got me an MP5 out of the deal. Well, MP accurate fire, which, oh, so much better than the, the other submachine gun I was using. You can skip this puzzle. Oh, no. Hey, fam. I don't, I don't be skipping puzzles. Okay. I don't be skipping no puzzles. That's my that's my thought process. I should unlock everything. Like I knew it was a puzzle. It gave me a cryptic little word puzzle. I guess it's I guess that'd be what it's called, a word puzzle. And I was like, dude, there's got to be something with this. And I was right. It took me what 30 minutes to figure out though. So I guess I could have saved 30 minutes. On the speed runs, I'm definitely not going to do it. Or on the uh, the timed mode, or whatever it's called in this game. Oh, hello. Somebody just Logan Paul cammed themselves. Master Alex, it has truly been an honor and a blessing to have served under you these past few decades. I consider myself lucky to have been witness to your scientific genius and your vision of the future. The world does need order, and I believe it is you and only you who is capable of accomplishing this feat. I, as well as the other researchers, are all bonded together in this belief. To ensure your survival, we have worked tirelessly to complete your transfer procedure. The vessel we have selected is without fault. I have every confidence that the procedure will go flawlessly. To come this far, we've had to make countless sacrifices. My faith in your vision is resolute, so I prepared myself to shoulder the mental and emotional burdens of the sins that I would be committing. But I do believe that before your plan can succeed, we must first atone for our sins. So I have taken the necessary steps for atonement. The remaining researchers have all been dealt with, and I too shall soon follow. This will also help you to perform the procedure without any distractions. On behalf of those who have served faithfully by your side, we are grateful for the opportunity to help you accomplish your ambitions. Eternally, your loyal servant, Stuart. Okay, so Stuart gave himself the express trip to the afterlife, so he's going to be of no use to us. But before I continue on, I am going to do one thing. I'm going to step out for like 30 seconds to get a drink. I will be right back because this has a very massive boss fight feel to it. I also need to throw away my trash. Okay. We're back. I had to get myself something to wet my whistle just in case this is a boss fight that I get stuck on. Because if I start raging this early, my vocal cords ain't going to keep up. Okay. There we go. That's better. That's better. Okay. Okay. This is definitely a boss arena. I guarantee this is a boss arena. I don't know exactly what type of boss it's gonna be, but it's gonna be some kind of boss.
There's too much. There's too much loot. Guess that's up there. That's probably where we're supposed to go. Okay, I guess we're gonna go where we're supposed to go then. Oh, nope. A little bit more loot. Didn't even think to check the center for loot. Still no sign of your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. More loot. Alright. Shit. Look, there's something I gotta tell you. I noticed something when Neil was with us. His bracelet never changed color. I mean, the living dead were coming at us from all directions. He must have been scared. No. No, no. There's no way. Got it? End of discussion. Listen, don't be throwing shade at my boy Neil, okay? Neil is just a badass. He doesn't get scared of Jack freaking diddly. And just because you got scared of some zombies doesn't mean that he gets scared of zombies. All right, let's strap one of these cute little bracelets to Daddy Chris. Daddy Chris ain't gonna get scared neither. Oh crap, I probably shouldn't have done that. Neil had it at the party. Barton, Chavez, Redfield. It's got all our names on it. Oh, he sold Tara safe out. Claire, I'm really sorry. Hey, look. Maybe Neil is a dirtbag. All right. I've isolated the best canteen. Good work. Now it's your turn to fulfill your end of... What did you... Well, you wanted an Ouroboros sample. Now you've got it. Lapdog. You don't know shit about me. I know you were Lansdale's puppet. When Veltro incited the Terra Grigia panic seven years ago, the FBC was pulling the strings. The old man went down, but he was smart enough to pass the torch before he did. You played me. Because you're an idiot. You thought you could create a new terrorist threat to justify the FBC. A monster like you could never understand. Okay, Neil is a dirtbag confirmed. Claire? Are you crying? No. I'm... I'm just learning to see a little more clearly. What, that you were working for a terrorist organization? I guess it was Neil. It had to be Neil, because that was uh, Neil Uchiha's voice actor there. A letter to my compatriots, my fellow visionaries. The time has finally come. Everything has gone as I said it would. All that remains is for her to hold up her to the bargain, and then I can finish what we started seven years ago. Just one little sample is all I need to change the world, but the world is already changing and not in a good way. The latest incident in Africa is just proof this kind of madness will keep repeating itself until nothing is left but tragedy and despair. The world needs someone to take charge and lead it through these dark times. Lansdale was right, of course. What he tried to do in Terra Grigia, people call him a villain, but he's a hero. He was trying to save us. I understood that, as to you. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to realize his vision. He was the only one to see that sacrifices were needed and that something good can be built on them, even if it means dealing with the devil herself to do it. So. Theory moment. Apparently... I'm assuming the woman on the video was Alex Wesker, which I think through like some research that I did before I started playing this game about like Albert Wesker, he was a twin, I think, or something like that. Anyway, his sibling was also a test experiment when they were younger. Anyway, Alex Wesker, I think is the bad person in this. Neil started TerraSave to make a new terrorist group to take over for Veltro so that the FBC could be reinstated. 
because the FBC was canceled after what's his face um after Martin Lansdale was arrested at the end of Revelations 1 they closed the FBC down and made BSAA uh like in charge of everything and Lansdale obviously orchestrated Terragrigia so I think Neil started TerraSave to make it a terrorist organization so that he could do something shady with Ouroboros as TerraSave to label them the true terrorist organization he wanted. And then they could reinstate the FBC and he would get in charge of the FBC, maybe. I, I, I don't know how FBC gets put into this, but... Um, I do know from the new movie, like, Welcome to Death Island or whatever, TerraSave was labeled as a terrorist organization. That's probably where Neil is. And something tells me that Neil's probably all ouroboros out. Because it looks like whoever it was shot him with an Ouroboros dart. what I thought was right. It wasn't. Get away from me! There's no bringing the FBC back. I failed Lansdale. Okay, so my boyfriend just turned into the Incredible Hulk. Neil, I trusted you. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do about that. Oh, of course she's gonna get hit. Looks like he's got some kind of zit popping out of his shoulder there. Okay, so... Apparently... Oh, come on, man. What am I gonna do to kill the Incredible Hulk? Like, what's uh, the Incredible Hulk's weakness in real life? It's not like Captain Diabetes. I can't just, like, shoot him up with some apple juice and call it a day. Okay, stairs. Stairs are probably his weakness, right? Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I've, 
probably should not have wasted the pistol there, but... Jeez Louise, brother! What's he infecting himself with now? As if the Ouroboros wasn't enough. I guess that's just more Ouroboros. Hey, buddy, I hate to tell you this, but, uh... Daddy Wesker's already done that, like, cool arm thing. Okay, come on. Mora, you know what? You just stand right there, girl. I'm cool with it. I feel like I'm not hitting this guy in the right spot because I'm doing like nothing to him and I'm almost out of ammo. Okay, well, I got his zit to pop out. That's that's a start, right? Oh, come on, man, really? That is that is everything. I'm out of everything. Like, all I got left is the knife, but I don't think that's going to do anything. I've got a knife and I got heals. That means we're not out of this yet. Okay. Hey, right. listen, you might have been my boyfriend uh, in a previous life, but you definitely don't look like him now. All right, it has nothing to do with the rippling muscles. In fact, I quite like that, but uh, it's kind of the fact that you were a terrorist. I think that's the deal breaker here. Okay, okay. You act like I've never done a knife only run before, bro. I don't think it's quite possible to knife this guy to death. Like, I, he is just not. He is just not having it. I mean, he is turning into the Red Hulk, though. Do these things drop loot? Do these things drop loot? I need more, I need more ammo, I need more ammo, I need more ammo! Okay! I never thought of that! Ooh, okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So, when he does a charge attack, if I put one of these in front of me, he'll just run into it like a moron. Okay, well, that's uh, a little bit worse than I thought. Okay, come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. I cannot believe I took you to meet my mother last Christmas, and this is what you turned out to be? Uh, I actually don't even know where he's at right now. <laughs>
Okay, try this. Try this. Come on. No. No. Hey, Myra, could you like not suck for five seconds, please? That would be great. Ah! Okay, this is not working. This is not working. Come on, dude. It's right here. This big yellow thing. Run into it, bro. I'm not asking for a whole lot here. Can I shoot it? Of course you can't shoot it. Show me that's it. Show me that's it. Okay, come on, really? Okay, dude, seriously, ser this is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Buttercup. I don't think that we're going to be able to work this one out. I honestly don't think it's going to work out between us. Okay, I need to let these flames die out so I can get my ammo. Ooh, Magnum don't mind if i do okay so those things drop ammo as well that's good to know i think that one's got a herb in it come on man okay i took that l i took that l I ain't afraid to admit it. I ain't afraid to admit it. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo! No, no, no! You are not getting me giblets. All right, that it's a no-no. All right, me and you. There is no more one last time, all right? You've turned into the Incredible Hulk. This is, this is not going to happen. I am probably going about this like the most backwards method ever done. Like, I, I am doing absolutely no damage to this dude. There we go. I got him. I got him. Let's go, baby. I just want this to be over. I told you it was never going to work between us, buddy. Okay, but he didn't melt. Just get in the elevator and hope that he's dead. Come on, Moira. Well, I'm not sticking around to uh, find out if he's actually dead or not. Let's go. I think he's dead. I'm going to go on the side of he's dead. I mean, that's definitely one way to work out your problems. Apparently, he didn't want to take no for an answer, because I think he just grabbed the elevator. Apparently, this is our stop. Let's see what's outside. Or n let's don't. That sounds like a horrible idea.
I have what I need. Nothing will come between us now, my sweet. You and I will be good friends. We'll know each other inside and out. Well, that's certainly one way to break up with your ex. A couple of bullets to the face. <laughs> I'm sure that method's been used quite a lot. Uh, tackle him. I'm sure you can do it. I mean, she did. She tackled him out of the elevator. Uh, use Moira. Uh, yeah, I think it gets you, you get a different ending if you use Moira, right? You get a different ending. I just locked myself into an ending. I know that. I know that much. I know it has alternate endings. And I know choosing right there who you kill or shoot Neil with. I don't know if you kill him or not, but who you shoot him with uh, changes the ending. I don't know if I just locked myself into the bad ending or the good ending, but we locked ourselves into an ending, baby. But I'll obviously do the other one on some other playthroughs that I'll have to do anyway. I only got a B. I can't, that, that did take me in like a solid hour and a half. So like, they're not lying on that front. I thought I was gonna have to do it with the knife. Like about the time I got down to just the knife, I was, I was shitting bricks a little bit. Not going to lie. I don't know who this bronze Kafka is. If it works, it works. Can you walk?
That confirms it. Barry is one of the greatest dads in Resident Evil history. Probably second only to, to Ethan. I cannot use my gun. That is not good. It was Alex Wesker. She's responsible for the experiment six months ago. They called her the Overseer. She took Moira away from me. And now I'll never get... And all for fucking what? I'm sorry. Yeah, language, bro. It's okay. She said she was going to be reborn. Reborn how? With the virus? Why did she need my little girl? Doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. I can't remember anything else. <laughs> oh, sweetie, I'm sorry. It's my problem, not yours. Just take it easy. This might be the greatest moment I've ever seen. Barry? Like, it's all Are sad. Okay? Yeah, I'm, uh... I was just thinking about how I used to go for walks like this with Moira and Polly. Were you a good family? <laughs> <laughs> we tried to be. Moira and I fought a lot. Even after she grew up. Was it because she used bad words? <laughs> Not all the time. No. She just did that to take me off. I'm the one that drove us apart. I messed up real bad as a father. She and Polly were playing in the house. I forgot to lock up my guns. And Moira... Sh yep, I knew it. Polly had an accident. I knew it. Was it Moira's fault? No. It was mine. But I raised my voice at her and... I guess I never really got around to taking the blame. Polly survived, thank God. But not me and Haha. <laughs> we started drifting apart. I think she still loved you. <laughs> I appreciate you saying that. Well, I'll tell you this much. I couldn't save her, but I'm gonna save you. I promise I'll get you off this island. I know. Thanks, Barry. See, you're right. My theory was correct. She was messing around with her dad's gun and she accidentally shot her sister. It's almost like I've watched a movie or played a Resident Evil game before. Like it's it was actually a pretty stereotypical reason why somebody doesn't want to have a gun and then she mentioned her sister in passing later. And I was like, ah, it's got to be the sister. Uh, this new version of Alex Wesker definitely looks like burnt toast. It looks like she cut the head off of uh, a Barbie doll and stitched it onto the back of a piece of burnt toast. There's How a are we going to get back to the surface? Bunch of people. Uh, okay, I think I know what I need to do. Um, I think I need to leave the girl here so she can unlock the gate. Just stay there. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yep, you stay right there. I'll go do me some killing. Samurai edge first. Oh gosh, I love it, dude. I just love that like instant gratification of like a solid headshot. Just doosh. Just the way they like and before they fall. It's just it's it's kind of like when you explode a nugget in the rest of the Resident Evils. It's just a good Follow me. Right. I guess I didn't need to do that. I thought I was going to have to open that, but I guess it's just her and me. Okay. Um, I wonder what would happen if Moira did it. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it changes the ending. I'm pretty sure it changes the ending.
but um, I'll do it on the other playthrough for sure. I ain't wasting bullets on bugs. There we go. I'll waste bullets on that dude. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay. Now I need you there, Natalia. I need you to put that child hand to work. Hey, thanks dad mind if I call you dad at this point because I mean you're pretty much radiating that dad energy da, 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 da. you can stealth kill who hey a ripple in time Obtain the item that lies beyond the gate in the sewers in Barry's episode three. So I'm assuming that's like a really good part or something. What did I just get? Really? That's that's all I had to do to get that trophy? Oh, that is why I opened the valves. Because the valve was right there and you had to open it to get back there. Okay, so it wasn't a waste of time to spin those two valves. Just make sure they're dead. Okay, they're dead. I hear y'all crawling. Okay, so that's what it was. I'm so used to not having a solid weapon system, you know, like a weapon system that actually shoots where you are aiming. Ooh, a brick. Oh, that's true. I guess I could use her to double check if they're dead or not, but... It's just so much more fun to just walk up and knife them, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay, he's dead. Ooh, look at that. And I get an AK-47 because I opened this gate. Hell yes. I've already picked it up though. I already picked it up. I just had to pick it up. I don't want to get rid of my assault rifle at the moment because I don't know what's more powerful. I need to figure that out at a workbench. I remember there being a thing that said certain things you do will affect Barry's playthrough, but I didn't think it was going to be like guns and hidden areas. That's kind of cool, though. I like that. Because I totally thought I was just wasting my time. Like, I I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, it didn't do anything. But now I know. That way, maybe? Now this looks like the right way, doesn't it? Oh crap, oh crap.
Where the hell is she? Oh, uh, I needed you and you were gone, Natalia. I need your eyes. I need your Byakugan. There's something over there. See, I needed your Byakugan. This game right here takes an hour and 28 minutes to install. It only took me like 10. I mean, I have pretty good download speed, though. Hey, do you think the old man's dead? Is he? Yeah. Leave him be. Poor man. He died all alone. Wait. This is Moira's. Make me tear up. I'm here. Let's go. I am gonna wreck this island for what it did to her. Let's get out of here first. Stay close, okay? I will. I mean, assuming she really is dead, Barry about to go on a rampage, bro. do that she's gonna hold all my she's gonna hold all this uh pass yeah i don't need that ah here it is okay so 75 damage yeah it's not as good as my assault rifle my assault rifle is already better so good thing i didn't drop it for the uh machine gun or the uh ak-47 the old man's journal I need practice my English, so I write in this journal on every day. Every day I write but have no words. Now I have good reason. Today I welcome first child to the world. Her mother give her the name Irina. It was my grandmother's name. I object, but I cannot win against stubborn woman. She has eyes and nose of her father, but mouth of her mother. We will raise her to be healthy, strong girl. This year island is have good spirits again. Mining business goes well. My life is pretty good for me now. I want to give Irina same feeling when she is older. It's my responsibility now as parent. That was in 1988. So, 1994. That's six years later. Irina already six years old. How time flies. She loves to imitate her mother. Her mother hates it, probably because imitation is perfect. Little Kroshka is very smart. She likes math. Her grandmother liked math, too. Irina's smile helps to make take mind off worries. The mines have become dangerous, and now they make no money. Island condition is worster, worster. I might have lose job, too, but this is no time for worry. This island is our home. I want to give it to Little Kroshka in good condition. It's my responsibility now as parent. <laughs> I'm thinking this is the guy that owned the mine. Irina, now 12 years old, already rebellious, more like mother every day. I don't understand women. Now I am embarrassed to her until she needs money or a request. Speaking of women and money, a woman comes to our island. She promises to bring back industry. I have job now to help build new facility in the mine. I thought mine was finished, but she has a use for it. She is loved by all. They call her savior or benefactor. My mother always said never trust people with money. The poor worker is more reliable than rich capitalist. Is good advice, but the rich woman is helping us. Okay, eight years later. It is Irina's 20 years birthday. I should be celebrating, but I'm worried. Next week, she will go work in mines. I was against it, but Kroshka will not listen to me. Has not listened for years. Why start now? Irina is stubborn, just like her father, she used to always say. I guess she was right. Has it already been a year since you left us, my darling? I don't trust the people in the facility. There's something wrong about them. But everyone else thinks me stubborn old man. 
Maybe now Arena 2, but I know I'm right. I just hope Arena will realize this too soon. 2009. I have not seen Arena in almost one year. Something bad is happening to our home. People become sick. More things I cannot explain. I know is all because of that woman. She smells of evil. This was to become Arena's home, but too late now. I leave this town. Everything. But Island is my home. I will not leave. No place to go. So I go to sewers. I stay here. Things will get worse. I know it. Arena, be safe. I will find you. I promise, Kroshka. You are all your father have left. Well, that didn't work out. He was definitely right about Alex being a heifer. But I guess it doesn't really matter because they're dead. Everybody's dead. Ooh, watching me while playing raid mode. I'm not really looking forward to raid mode. Uh, I'll probably, I mean, I might watch somebody else play the DLC sometime. This looks like bullets and stuff, so probably not a place that's going to be friendly. Okay, let's try this on for size. Okay, that's a brick. That's a brick. That's just a rock. He's dead. A dead end. Looks like we can open the sluice from higher up. Is it though? Is it really a dead mode? Or not raid mode. I was reading your, your comment. The raid mode isn't that bad in my opinion. Okay, so I gotta get over there. Ah, okay, I see what I gotta do. Yeah, I just hate Revelations 1 raid mode, so I compare everything to that. I haven't played raid mode, and raid mode's probably the last thing I'm going to do um, in this trophy run, Barry, so... There's a hole. I won't find out until the very end, and once I get the trophies for it, I probably will not bother playing it. But if you enjoy it, heck yeah, fam. Natalia, can you open the sluice from that side? Okay, hang on. Of course I can. I'm rushing. I know exactly what I'm doing. Although it's probably going to wake up a bunch of dead people. Or, if, you know, this is actually going a lot better than I planned because not a single dead person is getting up. Good work, Natalia. Keep it up. This guy's probably alive. How did I know? Okay. I'm just gonna open up both of these. I just did that right on that was the most clutch shot ever I shot that quite literally two inches from baby girl's nugget Another one? There you go. Jeez, that guy took three bullets. What kind of crap is that? Okay, I don't need smoke powder. I don't want... I don't want smoke bombs. I want... Explosive bombs. 
I like shit to go boom. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna... I got a bad feeling about this. Why did it why are there so many bombs I'm able to push as Natalia? Also, why does Natalia have this like psychic vision stuff? Hmm. Interessante. You're welcome. Natalia, the sluice. Got it. And we're trying not wake this guy up. I'm assuming running is what w wakes these dudes up. And if I know how to count, which I'm not saying I do, there should only be one more sluice gate after this. Okay, old boy definitely didn't wake up. Is there gonna be like a running sequence, maybe? I mean, there's gotta be a reason I'm kicking these things off of here, right? I guess I could have blew those guys up, but Okay, I'm not gonna use a magnum on that guy Okay, so that's what it's for. Okay, I see I see I see I see Not necessarily a running sequence Just a couple booby traps Come on Two out of three ain't bad hmm. Okay, wasn't I supposed to like shoot something Probably this a-hole right here There it is. He dead. Don't you worry, baby. I got you. Okay, we're gonna grab this bottle. Ooh. Uh, discard that. I'd rather have the bottle. There we go. Well, we're out of pistol bullets, so hopefully there's something good in this crate. I mean, I still do have the machine gun and the sniper, so I guess we're not in too big a pickle. Up there. Oh, yeah, shmoney, baby. Okay, a rare parts box. Yeah, we drop cloth over rare parts? I don't think so. Okay, so there's that. We gotta find one more sluice valve. If I know anything about mathin. Barry! Yeah, there we go. Knife this dude. Yep, he's dead. What the heck? Okay, so I need... I need bullets. The 
bullets are more important. There we go. I got it anyway. Okay, so there's this guy. I think he's dead, dead. I think we're good. I think we're good on that one. This guy looks like, yep, I knew he was going to wake up. Is there not a brick? Okay, oh. Let's put him right in the line of fire. Okay. It is kind of weird swapping constantly, though. Like, I'll be honest. Like, that is... I haven't done that in a game in a minute. What kind of is that? Oh, it's a firebomb. Okay, so I need another firebomb. Okay, so I got firebombs now. I wonder why this, like, what is so special about this section? This cannot be the gist of it. There's got to be something else, right? I mean, I know we did the boss fight with Moira and Claire. There's got to be something else. Okay, well, uh, we need to get a little further with Daddy Barry. Really? <laughs> now I can't freaking see the splody barrel. Well, good thing we weren't going for a speed run, right? Or maybe I didn't need to do that. I don't know. Either way, it happened, so. No, 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 no. It's definitely up. It's definitely up. Barry, there's something over there. an explosive but that's actually better okay I got two tourniquets Ooh, I like that when you discard stuff it just drops on the ground it doesn't actually get rid of it that's awesome because most of the time whenever you discard anything it's like oh you just gotta throw it away Yep, got it. Hey, 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 Barry. I hate to tell you this, but there is an ugly ass zomber like just trying to jump over that railing and eat your giblets. Natalia, see if you can get this open. Got it. Okay, well, we're here now. We're good. Oh, okay, look at that. Now that right there is what you call high quality teamwork. Just a father and his adopted daughter murking their way through a zombie apocalypse. And when the team comes together, it's just like, it's just, it's so beautiful. Oh, it, it can only go off one way. Okay. Uh. 
really? Just the one? There's another one? It's getting closer. It's getting closer. Okay, got it, got it. Where is it? Dude, she she is not calling out good shots. There's something ahead. Be careful. Corner of the stairs. Holy guacamole, the last melon. The last freaking shot. Oh, okay, that wasted a ton of ammo, but that's okay. They gave us most of it back. Okay, now, how are we going to get Natalia down here? Is she going to jump and I'm just going to catch her? I mean, I, I don't think that's a bad idea. What's the worst that could happen? It's not like I'm gonna drop her. Let's just let's just open the gate. Let's let's open the gate and get this this dream team back together and then we can worry about Murder Layton. There we go. Yeah, so um the raid mode for Revelations 1 is atrocious. So keep that in mind. Like it is one of the worst game modes I've ever played. There's something over there. It's getting close. There, no! Thought I killed all those. Did I not? Well, I'm not going to leave these parts. Like, there's always good stuff in these, so... Is it worth the three bullets I just wasted? Probably. One. Ooh. Is it is raid mode one or is revelations one raid mode worse than Akumu? Yeah. I I hate it a lot more. Like Akumu, let's put it this way, Akumu, when I was done with it, I felt like this massive sense of pride. Like I can't believe I just accomplished that. That's one of the hardest things I've ever done. But I did not have that feeling with Rev 1's raid mode. I just hated it. Plus, you know, Revelation's raid mode, you can game it. If you have some people that are that are 
way higher level than you and can just carry you through it, you can be done with everything that's required in that game mode in like 30, 40 hours. You cannot do that with Akumu. Akumu requires that you actually get good at the game. Damn, it just freaking a hip hop. A skip dip it up. I mean that's actually probably the best way of doing it right there. Like I feel like that's I mean it's not ideal. Like that's not the greatest mechanic ever, but it's doable if you just flop between the two. Ooh, good call, good call. I came to the right side. Otherwise I probably would have ran right past this. I can see that. Akumu is a one-hit wonder. Raid mode is trying to hit the grand lottery. Like, yeah, dude, raid mode is just... I'm sure if you have some friends that, you know, are willing to play with you, that game mode is probably infinitely better. I, I would say it's definitely infin infinitely better because you guys can take turns getting Trinity bonuses on every level, get a shit ton of money really quickly never actually have to try because you could just sit back and let the other person do all the work most of the time to get the best perks on every level and then it would make it okay, infinitely easier out. but by yourself pick up Wesker's trail. don't even bother like there i seen a comment on the on the youtube video you know, today you don't have to come hold with up me for this i'm staying with you i want to know the truth as much as you do What I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by these two is that by yourself, don't even bother. I seen a comment on the YouTube video. I haven't commented back on it yet because uh, I seen it right before I went live. But it said something to the effect of too bad you couldn't have done it solo. And I could have. I 110% believe I could have soloed resident evil revelations however i was at like 150 hours when i got the platinum if you want to solo it you might as well go up like 450 500 hours that's my estimation you're looking at 500 hours for that platinum and let me tell you something about resident evil revelations it is not worth a 500 hour platinum trophy it's just not so that's why i quit it early if the person that commented that's watching, that's why. The game is just not worth 500 hours. It's just not. Is this the factory after they blew it up? Once upon a time, this must have been some kind of mine. Mm. It's the mine. Is there a Balrog in this particular mine? Because that, my friends, is something I do not want to deal with. I think that woman used to be down there somewhere. Okay. Let's head down and look for a way across. Hey, looky there. Found us an emblem and everything. Sack is gonna pay for what she did to Moira. I'm not leaving this island until she does. Look at that, 5 of 11. I'm actually cooking when it comes to those. Like, I, I found quite a lot. Mm. Can I go in here? Ooh, I can. 
Hey guys, look. It's a Resident Evil game and there's a mandatory mine section. Imagine that. I feel like whoever writes all these Resident Evil games, like they just have some unearthly fear of mines and think that if they put a mine section in every game, it's going to somehow crank up the fear. There's something ahead. Be careful. That old boy. Ooh, look at that. This guy is probably really good at Twister. The Stanley Parable Deluxe Edition. One trophy takes 100 years to get. Yeah, it also takes like five seconds whenever I hop on my PlayStation and I just change the date to 100 years in the future. Which is kind of funny because that's actually that, that's actually a pretty like worthy joke trophy right there. It takes a hundred years to get when in all actuality it takes like fifteen seconds. Can I not boost her up there? Nope. Okay, so I guess this duo doesn't do that. Okay, so. I gotta open this probably by going this way, huh? Oh, 10, not a hundred. Oh, well, even then, yeah, you just set your, you just change the, the date time on your PlayStation. Oh, that's, that's her. It's not, that's not the way we go, okay. The only way up is that elevator. Mm, I don't think I want to go that way just yet. I don't think I want to go that way just yet. I'm not 100% certain if this has got a bunch of good loot, but we're, we're going to make sure that we don't miss any of the good loot, okay? This is not one of those playthroughs. Was that loot or was that an emblem? I seen it out of the corner of my eye. Okay, it was loot. It was loot. It was loot. That's alcohol. I don't need any right now. There's a, a dude right there. Maybe I can shoot him. Yep. Okay, I can shoot him off. Damn, I can't boost her up here. Well, that was a freaking waste. Maybe that's for the next playthrough. Because I can't boost right there. Hmm, okay. Nope, not there. Okay, I guess I gotta go around. Maybe she could turn it on. Maybe she could turn it on. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so she can't be boosted. I think, uh, I guess we're just gonna have to keep going this way. Okay, I heard somebody squirming. I heard some squelching. And we all know what squelching means. Uh, splody bottle. There we go. Uh, yeah, go ahead and, uh, pass me those. 
Pass me those. Pass me those. Pass me those. Uh, give you that. Give you that. Uh, you don't need that. You also don't need that. Okay, there we go. Oh, shit balls. What is that? What was that? That looks a whole lot like a sneak peek of a boss. And I did not like it. No, I did not. Mm -mm. Hmm. This one's dead too. Okay, well, let's just uh, pretend that that didn't happen. Written in Russian. The bodies continue to pile up here. There's so many. My gosh, what have we done? That woman, that Alex, she didn't come here to save us. She came here to destroy us. My father was right all along. All she wants to do is make monsters and people die. We have been helping her do it all this time. How could we have been so stupid? She injected us all with something. I don't know what it is, but they start to itch. Then their bodies, they just start to fall apart. Once the blindness sets in, that's the final stage. It's just a matter of time for me too. Oh, Papa, I wish you were here. I wish I could see you again. This island is done for. There's nothing left but death. I don't know how much time I have left. Can't be long. Legs already feel funny. Itching started. No focus. Pain, pain, pain in my joints. Okay, so I'm going to assume that uh, Arena ends up being the tentacle monster down here. That seems like something Resident Evil would do, doesn't it? I do use the pistol more than anything else. Let's go damage four on the pistol, damage two on the assault rifle. Damage one on the sniper. Oh wow, damage one actually does a lot. That added 75 points of damage to it. I like that. Okay, so we got the tentacle mommy in the room over there. My question is, can we bypass the tentacle mommy? Probably not. Well, it looks like we got the generators turned on. So that's a good start. How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? Must have been the power Probably eight. The belt. That should help me get things from point A to point B. Okay. So if I need to move something, I can put it on the conveyor belts. And this is coming out of the factory. So I'm assuming what I need is going to be in the factory. We're going to have to fight the tentacle mommy first. All right, so let's go kick the shit out of this tentacle mommy. And I know it's a tentacle mommy because I've already seen the tentacle. I got a bad feeling about this. Good God, what a mess. We yeah, could probably I'd... use this power source. I don't blame you, kiddo. Okay, so this is a box I'm gonna need to get out of here, I take it. Can I not turn this on? Hmm. Okay, there she is. There she is. Dude, I told you it was a tentacle, mommy. What the hell is that? And I'm only calling her a tentacle, mommy, because I'm assuming that's Arena.
How about you hold my flame bottles? Yeah, I don't like the tentacle mommy. I'm not not a fan. Not not a fan. Okay, well that worked quite well. So we I'll need throw this. My back out if I try to lug this thing all the way to the elevator. So this guy right here, this is gonna help us get all of our loot. Okay. And we got the elevators to make it go by quicker. And get it up certain levels. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, I think that thing will instant kill you. I mean, I'm not... I don't know about you, but I ain't volunteering to get squeezed by no tentacle mommy. Okay? Ain't about it. Anything with tentacles and glowing orange pustules... Just shoot it on sight. A spicy wings. See, I'm not a big spice guy, but I do love me some wings. I do love me some good wings. I I, I polished off a couple of wings uh, that my wife didn't like yesterday or maybe the day before. Friday? I think it was Friday. Had me some ick. Just wings, which aren't really that good of wings, but wings are wings, you know? Okay, well, let's... I don't think I'm going to be able to... I think I just put myself in a pickle. going to try and stealth kill these dudes. Well, considering how stupid the enemy AI was, and like we all seen it earlier, I think we'll be okay. Okay, how does it know where I'm at? Shouldn't the, shouldn't the AI, uh, left leg, left leg, left leg. Shouldn't the, the AI just eventually be like, oh no! I don't know where he went. You would think, but I guess that's just too much to ask, huh? Probably some good loot right there. For future playthroughs, use a smoke bottle and stealth attacks and use one or two magnum shots, which kills this first boss fight way faster. Oh, I might do that. It just depends on what kind of stuff I got. It also depends on whatever game plan I come up with for like the final bosses in the game because I try not to waste magnum ammo unless I absolutely have to. Like in the, la in the, the boss fight against Neil with Claire, I had to use... Uh, the Magnum, because I was basically out of bullets. But I am definitely one of those people that I don't use any Magnum bullets ever. Like, whatever the best weapon in the game is, I don't use any of its ammo until the final level. It just, it's, it sets off Icky's OCD every single time, too. Uh, you can use the box to get the new sniper. Yeah, I kind of figured that. I'm not a complete idiot, Ethan. And I, I'm able to figure some stuff out.
Right, let me tell you, I'll, I'll be the first one to tell you, we are looting everything. Everything. I don't think it's anything this way. I do got to put that weight on it, though. That weight should be what starts up that generator. Ooh. I think I'm going to stick with this one although I don't know if it's more powerful or not but I like the scope better so I'm gonna use it anyway uh, playing a Resident Evil game that is not Resident Evil 5 makes me miss having infinite ammo well I mean I will say that like a lot of the newer ones uh, have infinite ammo almost every one that I've ever played there's a way to get infinite ammo Even Code Veronica, you can get infinite ammo for your rocket launcher. Um, you just have to get an A rank on the game first. Um, I think the only the only Resident Evil I've played that I didn't unlock infinite ammo in... ...was Revelations. I think Revelations 1 is the only game in Resident Evil that I've played, and I've I've played all the canon games so far. All right, I've played all the way up to Rev 2. Um, and Revelations 1 is the first game that did not have infinite ammo. So, I mean, almost all of them you can get infinite ammo. You just have to do certain things to get there. And then we're probably going to get attacked by the Tentacle Mommy as soon as I push this button. I mean that's just the way it goes sometimes, Ethan. If you push too, f if you push too far forward and you miss something, you just got to get it on the next playthrough. It'll be fine. If I miss something, I don't, I don't really care. I, I, I'm, if I miss it, I miss it. It is what it is. Doesn't affect me one way or the other. Sorry, can't. Just stay there. I'm fine. She's got it. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, got it, got it. Every time. Follow me. I can't. Oh, I thought I thought that was actually gonna bring the bring the tentacle mommy on me, but I guess it didn't. Okay, so there's a crate over there. Do I need it now? I'm assuming I need it to get into that building. All this effort just to bring a crate through a gate. Resident Evil in a nutshell. Uh, I have infinite ammo for five and six. Yeah, infinite ammo comes in clutch, especially for six. All you really need to do to make six really easy is get infinite ammo on the crossbow for Ada the grenade launcher for Chris uh, and then the magnum so you just have to get three things of infinite ammo and that game becomes a joke okay I back so check it you got a basic attack and one instant accounts no escape from I can hear Barry screams over and over again oh so Barry gets schwacked by the tentacle mommy you're not paying attention Good thing I was paying attention. The monster is coming. There we go. Hmm. 
Why are you make so much noise? The dead trying to sleep here. You know? That's how it be sometimes. People get so used to the world catering to them. Like, if you're going to sleep out in the open, it's going to get loud. Yeah, I'll figure it out, fam. Appreciate the heads up, but... Like I said, like if I'm in the middle of a boss fight or if I'm in the middle of like a puzzle section and I'm having trouble looking at the puzzle, I'll probably just not look at your comments until I figure it out. But, yeah, I kind of figure most bosses in Resident Evil have like an instant kill attack. At least one. Most of them. Not in the newer ones. The newer ones, not so much. Seven and eight, not so much, but the rest of them, like almost every single one has some kind of a uh, instant kill. Okay, that's where I gotta go. Okay. Is this just a, this is a generator box. That's what it is. Okay, so I was wondering why I was getting this crate and dropping it and it was turning on the power. It's got a generator in it. So that's what it is. I'm put I'm moving a generator from spot to spot. I'm not just plopping some box on a magical pedestal that starts everything. Uh I remember Evil Within 2 has some instant kills. Yeah, Evil Within 2 is different. Like Evil Within and Resident Evil 2 entirely different things. There are a ton of bosses in both of those games that do one-hit kills. No, no, go off to the side, go off to the side. It's faster. Okay, you know what? There we go. No. Get down. Not you, Natalia. I was talking about my fat ass. My dad bod's getting the better of me. Now we got a working elevator. Okay. Yeah, I knew that guy was dead. You ever heard of tap dancing? Because you were pretty damn good at it. Yeah, I I'm, I'm tracking Fox. Like, I I'm tracking basic enemies in the evil within. Will instant kill you. I beat the Evil Within one on Akumu mode. I, I, I know all about instant deaths in the oh, Evil come Within. On. Not now. Damn it. Okay, I'm assuming she's got to come with me. I don't quite know. Oh, there is. On the bright side, we're getting more loot. Okay, nope, he didn't see me. He did not see Hi, me. Sh shut up! Okay, Come gosh on, damn it. Coming. Now he's seen me. Where's this one at? Be careful. Dude, dude's crab walking like the grudge. If you'd have kept your mouth shut, Natalia, I could have still killed him. I've got peepers. You don't have to scream monster whenever you see one. Okay, kiddo. I'm, I'm sorry I yelled at you, but come on now. I know I haven't got near enough of those, but it'll be fun. Hey, you see all this loot laying around? Makes me think that uh, the tentacle mommy's gonna attack us here. A 
8th, February 2010. Note of corpse disposal. We had a lot of bodies to take care of today, more than usual. These T-Phobos trials sure can burn through the available subjects. We used up 30 bodies in just three days. The only thing to do is keep bragging and dumping them in a pit. Gosh, dang! Yep, I seen it. I seen it. Certain things catch my my eye from like a long distance away. Certain things. And then there's other things where I like walk right past it and people are like, you walked over it like seven times, bro. And there's gonna be some times where I see something like that and I'm just like, oh look, boom. I've got my money on the tentacle mommy popping up here. Hey, look at that! That's not what I meant to do. Okay, well, uh, I gotta, I gotta let this stuff get out of my eyes first. Okay, here we go. Okay, Hurley McHurlison's dead, so. technique I think that's a shield technique okay here we go okay come on that's got to be it right that's got to be it I blew up your midsection yeah, how you like them daddy berry nuggies, huh? Don't ever do exactly what I just showed you, Natalia. Like, you did not just see me drop the daddy nuggies. Oh, but it had to be done. Uh... Yeah, I'm tracking that your partner can just randomly die. I'm just not too worried about it. If they die, there's really nothing I can do with that, do about it. But see what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, dude. I knew the tentacle mommy was gonna show up right there. Okay, now let's get in this elevator and get the hell up out of here, cause I have no ammo. Ah, there it is. I know. I, ju I, I totally just scarred Natalia by dropping those daddy nuggies in front of her. But it had to be done. It had to be done. What now? Let's keep at it. We'll have that old bitch cornered soon. Gosh, damn. I mean, he's just dropping all kinds of wordy dirts right in front of her. She's going to be cursing like a sailor after this. I wasn't afraid. 
afraid as I watched my hair turn gray and the flesh sag from my bones. But why aren't you changing? A failure like you. I'll crush you with my bare hands. What the hell just happened? She like got she she scared Alex? Next time on Revelations 2. My whole life has been a prelude to this. My true birth. Wherever she went, we could still catch her. Nice fucking emergency exit. Down below. I think that's where we'll find her. Time to be the cause of our misery. You will die, child. Run, 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 run! All that remains is one final test. Do we actually get to see Alex Wesker for once? Final episode, metamorphosize. I need a doctor, doctor to heal my wounds, maybe. conquered the fear clear episode three so another gimme trophy but uh hey that's still a good day that is still a good day um record achieve conquered fear unlock countdown and invisible episode so three separate playthroughs of the game uh one on countdown mode one on uh invisible enemy mode Uh, the tentacle mommy. That was a thing. Um, kind of. S oh gosh, I have not been paying attention to this. I know I have to get like every medal in the game. I think as a trophy. Eesh. Yeah, those are going to be a bear. Those are going to be a bear and a half, but it'll be fine. Okay, here we go. Last chapter, baby. Last chapter. I have no clue what Natalia just did to her. We've got to find out, though. Previously on Revelations 2, someone left a message. Welcome to the queue. I not know this thing you are speaking of. I'm just learning to see a little more clearly. I did what I thought was right. <laughs> we'll know each other inside and out. You... You killed her. Help! I'm sorry, I was just a bad daughter. The old sack is gonna pay for what you did. I'll crush you with my bare Yeah, I have no clue what just happened there. I mean, it's only one more level. I haven't been focusing on the medals, though, so... Honestly, what I'll do for the medals, I'll probably just pull up a list of all of them so that I can see what I need to be trying to do in each level. You're perfect. <coughs> Six months from now, 
You're going to awaken as me. Mmm. And the world is going to be very afraid. Okay. So good night, my darling. Sleep well. All this time wasted. My whole life has been a prelude to this. My true birth. Time to meet the cause of our misery. Mm. What is this place? Doesn't matter. Let's okay. find the overseer. I see. Whatever we did to Alex is the reason she metamorphosized into the ugly version of herself. And Natalia was supposed to be the body she was transferred into. That's why Natalia has... We've been through most of these areas. And she's been watching our every step. The abilities she has. That sluice changed the direction of the water. Yeah, but where? I don't recognize the place. Don't know. Hopefully I didn't just make things worse for Barry. I might have, though. Oh, I completely forgot that I have absolutely no ammo right now. Hopefully I'm not about to go into a boss fight. Hopefully it's not one of these short levels where there's like two seconds and then you have a boss fight. Oh, this looks like a lore dump. Okay. Thoughts on Kafka. I have a love-hate relationship with this story. Perhaps I can relate to it more closely than I'd like to admit. One morning, Gregor awakened to find himself transformed into a hideous insect-like creature. His family is bewildered at first, but they do try to take care of him. Eventually, he becomes too much of a burden to them. Nothing more than an ugly monster, a nuisance to the family. When Gregor learns of this, he retreats to a solitary death. Up until his transformation, Gregor had been supporting the family. Now that he was no longer useful, he was a burden to them. They were relieved when he died. I too have been bred to serve a purpose. Once that purpose accomplished, I too would have been cast aside, but I refuse to shrivel up and die in solitude. I refuse to let myself become a hideous monster. You must have felt the same way too, Albert. So she's looking for a way to avoid turning into a monster, just like... Albert Wesker had to keep giving himself the shots so that he didn't turn into a monster. Got it. Stuart, it looks like the most suitable vessel is going to be that little girl after all. The other candidates had potential, but that girl is an entirely different class. She is incapable of feeling fear. That's not surprising when you consider what she's been through. Getting caught up in the Terra Grigia panic at such a young age having everyone she knew be killed, losing her parents right in front of her eyes. After experiencing those kinds of horrors, what left is there to be afraid of? The only problem is her age, but that's a problem that time will take care of for us. She's the perfect candidate for your purposes. Okay. Notes on the transfer procedure. The transfer will take place soon, and my success is nigh. Spencer, you poor, pathetic old man. You spent your final years desperately searching for the secret to immortality, and you died while your research was still incomplete. But I have been continuing that research. The body will age. This is an inescapable fact. But we can escape our death by transferring our mind into another vessel. All of my efforts have been invested into developing and refining this system. I've had a few successes, but I still have so much more to do before I can consider my work to be complete. As of now, I can confirm the following. The new vessel must be mentally strong and be able to overcome any emotions of fear. 2. After the transfer, it will take 6 months before the transferred mind can be stabilized. During this time, the vessel should be protected at all costs. Time is of the essence. I must work quickly. 
six months. So that's why Natalia doesn't know that she's Alex yet because it hasn't stabilized in her mind. And it's been about six months, so she should be about to turn into Alex Wesker, assuming Alex transferred her mind into what Natalia. Do I don't know. I just can't figure the overseer out. How are we going to get through? There's got to be some way to reach the other side. Hmm. Hey, look at that. I just thought it was weird that she had a fish tank with no fish in it, you know? All right, we're through. Let's hurry. Okay, not that way. I guess I probably could have just, you know, pushed the fish tank, but I don't know. I thought it was a lot more... You know, cooler if she just walked up there like. This definitely feels like it's about to be a boss fight. We meet at last. Hey, what's up, Alex? You are you pretty good looking, not lying. Way just to say goodbye. Oh, I'm touched. It's already done. I've conquered fear and earned the right to become a god. Come out from behind that glass so I can choke a god. All that remains is one final test. One last threshold to cross. Is she even listening to us? She's monologuing. My brother's escape was death. And soon, it will be mine as well. I will share in his fate. And then, I will surpass him. It's what bulletproof. Do? Escape. That can't be good. Confidentiality protocol initiated. Self-destruct sequence of the facility's upper fire will begin immediately. If you are currently situated in an affected area, please remain calm. We need to get out of here. Okay, well, let's just leave. die with her. Back to the elevator. Hurry! I am not sharing a coffee with that nut job. Uh, some tells me that's not gonna be her coffin. Sure, one of her versions might have just died. But how do we know that was actually her? You know? I also think she's already transferred her mind, so I don't think she cares. I don't think she'd have shot herself if she hadn't transferred her mind yet. There's always another way. Come on. Come on, Moira. Hopefully you can keep up. This is going to be one hell of a cardio session. I hear buzzing. I don't know if that's the instant kill monsters or like some electricity. Well, don't mind if I do. I don't see a countdown timer at the moment. 
we might as well go ahead and snag ourselves some good loot. It's not like we're coming back. See, told you. Long elevators. So this is where we came up from the elevator, right? We were going up while the vessel was going down. You're right. I can't see it, but there's something in here with us. Oh, do I have to help her? I was probably supposed to help her there, huh? I thought for sure she was gonna get up. Oh, well. Okay, come on. Ah, that's why the smoke screen bottles there. You're right. I can't see it. What else is hiding in here? Just keep your eyes peeled and go. See, now we don't got to worry about it though. That's what the smoke screen bottle was for. Okay. Something tells me on higher difficulties I'm probably not going to get that. Let's just go around. I think that's worse than having my back broken. She just birthed a bunch of babies all over me. Really? And go. Okay, there's probably two of them up there. Okay. I see what Ethan was saying. This is definitely worse than a boss fight. Natalia can see it, but Moira is not doing anything. Maybe I need to, uh, I guess I need to save the smoke screen bottle for this part. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'll take it. I'll take it. Shotgun rounds for the dub. Too easy. Too easy. I just had to save the shotgun or the smoke grenade. I knew that would work. Fucking 
Okay, so now we get a timer. Do you think this is a forgiving timer or not a forgiving timer? Question, do I have time to go get that upgrade right there? I really think I should just make the time. That's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. I did not mean to jump to my death. You know what? Let's just let's just go ahead and lead with Moira, because her flashlight's supposed to be a goat tier weapon, and it's been absolutely useless so far, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Thought there was a little bit more of a ledge there earlier, but we'll we'll figure it out. Come on, baby. You got this. There you go. Let's go that way and then turn around. I want that upgrade. I want that upgrade. I knew there was more of a ledge. I don't know why she just died earlier. There's definitely a ledge there I can use. There's 110% a ledge. See, look, there is a ledge right there. I told you. Y'all thought I was crazy. And maybe I am crazy. Maybe I am a little crazy. Oh, look at that. There was a diamond. It was totally worth it. That's like two grand. I wasted, what, 30 seconds on that? I think they'll be forgiving enough to give me 30 seconds. Smoke screen, you know what that means. That means there's definitely about to be one of those invisible a-holes. Okay, and something tells me I'm about to have to do some shooting, so probably best to switch back to the red field. Come on. She definitely talks exactly like a millennial would talk. So they definitely got her character right. And I was about to make fun of Claire for wearing high heels in this life or death situation. And then I remembered that it's life or death. She got kidnapped from like a party. Like she didn't know she was gonna be in this life or death situation. So I'll give her a pass to this one and only time. I mean, she's not doing bad for somebody in heels. Spider Claire is a good nickname. Hang tight. I'll figure something out. Ah, there it is.
Hey, good thing I grabbed this crowbar earlier, don't you think? Imagine if I didn't have this crowbar. You can make it, Claire. Hurry. There we go. Ah, okay. I got to push with her. Got it. Claire, get your big butt out the way, girl. Okay, now let's go back to Claire. There we go. This seems like a good final spot. Look, the timer went off. The timer went off. That means we made it. I, I spoke too soon. Okay, come on. Really? Really? Oh. Okay, I got 60 seconds. I might have wasted too much time going for the loot. Uh. Myra? Where's Myra? Where is she? Oh, okay. She's behind me. I heard her. I heard her. I was like, I ain't going back to run with her, gosh damn it. I'm already... If I'm 50 leagues... At... You're freaking joking, bro. Ugh. Gosh damn it. I was right about needing Claire, though. I knew I was going to need to be Claire. I'm going to assume that I can burn the... I'm assuming that's why that was there, huh? Oh! I do not like glasps. I gasped. Defeat 20 glasps in the main campaign. I mean, I'm okay with it. I got a trophy out the deal. So, you know, dying a couple extra times for a trophy? That's a fair trade in my book. Let's go, baby. Got sick and tired of killing those now you see me monsters. You're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. How about we're gonna make it? right God, help me. yeah we can go to therapy after this just jump I mean she had a hell of a yeet you had to really jump out to not get smushed
I'm gonna assume she's gonna turn into a monster, probably. She's probably gonna be the final boss. I'm guessing because she's so scared right now that she's gonna transform. She's gonna be alive, but we're gonna have to kill our daughter, probably. Because that's how video games work. Yes, we did meet the invisible monster. Claire, open your eyes. Claire, wake up. Claire. Oh. Very. What happened to Moira? Was Moira with you? Mary. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. She's... I tried to save her. I should have... Well, she's dead. Which, I mean, I kind of... I'm uh, gonna go out on a limb and say that she's probably gonna end up as the final boss. I don't really care for her character that much, so... Moira. I'm more surprised that he survived that fall. Natalia? Are you okay? Hey, what happened? Natalia, sweetie, where's Wesker? She went somewhere else. Oh, okay. Well, what matters is that you're safe. Wherever she went, we could still catch her. Oh! Where are you? I... But no, I my bad the wind knocked out of me. You know where Wesker went? I think she's on the other side of the map. All right. And we better double back up the cliff. It throws me for a loop every time she he's like, Oh, did you see where Wesker went? And she's like, No, she went this way. I'm like, oh wait, we're talking about Alex Wesker, not Daddy Wesker. Okay, quick load, got it. That does 725 damage. That only does 500. Yeah, we're going to swap back. There we go. We got the quick load. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. I like this loadout. I like this loadout right here. Okay. Okay, so, it to control the water flow. so it opened up this one. I'm assuming that means so that we can travel down this one. What's that over there? That building might be a way up. Let's start heading in that direction. There we go, he did. <laughs> Gosh dang it, he, that a-hole turned around right when I was about to kick the shit out of him. She's just hiding like a pansy. I just want to say I was not getting kicked, I was not getting my ass handed to me by any of these zombies until we got to this final part. Hmm. I think we're just gonna push through. I am just gonna push through. I don't need to kill him and I need the bullets. Hmm. Maybe 
not. Really? Okay, he was trying. He was trying. Did I go this way earlier? No, I don't think I did. Okay. You ready, Sheila? Let's go. We ain't got time for such simpletons. We gotta go find out if my daughter is the final boss I gotta fight or not. He did. Now would be a bad time to be like, ooh, at least I got some smoke powder though. And we'll have me some smoke bombs. That's... Good thing I didn't waste those earlier. I thought about getting rid of the smoke powder, but then I was like, eh. Where'd he go? Come here. Move, Mara. Come on, man. Eh, there it is. There it is. Okay. That's probably not the way you're supposed to do that. But modern problems require modern solutions. Like that parts box. I got no clue what's in that parts box, but I know I like the parts. Parts on the other side. Hmm. Okay, well, I got my stuff, so here we go. Uh, you can have that, and you can have that. Got lots of healing items. Hmm. Oh, well, if it works, it works. I ain't gonna complain. Here we go. Come on, Natalia. We got a lot of work to do, baby. We got lots of work. Hmm. This thing is huge. It's like one of those cranes you see in junkyards. End of the road. We'll have to climb up the crane. It's a long way down. Why would they show us the crane? The crane's got to be important, right? It's Resident Evil. They don't show you stuff unless it's important. Maybe it's not important. Maybe it's important in the sense that this is the way we got to go. But I'm still thinking that our daughter is the final boss.
right, let's try you. Okay, that doesn't look good at all. Okay, that was a dumb idea. I'm gonna get over there, right? So up, maybe? I'm thinking that we got to go up with one of the characters. And then one of the characters have to go down. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. There's a ladder there. It looks like you can walk almost all the way over. That's that's my best bet. Ah, oh, this also makes a bridge. Wow, we're really high up. That's right, top of the world. Okay, there it is. Not yet. We gotta go one over. We gotta drop the ladder down so Barry can climb up. Yep, that's what we gotta do. That's how I get up there. What about right here? Well, it looks ready to collapse, but I think we can. There still we go. It should just be right here. Yeah, too easy. That puzzle was actually a little bit easier than I thought it was. I was getting like all like worried there for a second. Then I was like, wait a minute. Okay. See, what was I so worried about? I have no absolutely. I, I have no earthly Almost idea. There, you gonna make it? And boom. The answer was the ladders. Good call, Iki. You were right in your assumption. As was I. Okay, now that we got past the... Gosh, damn it. Like, they just don't leave me alone. I 
I just wanted a nice quiet evening out with my adoptive daughter since my real daughter died in a cave-in accident six months ago. And y'all just had to ruin it. Stay close, Natalia. You never know what craziness we're going to experience next. This must be the way into the mine. Barry, there's a facility down below. I think that's where we'll find her. Is your memory coming back? I don't to really think I want her memory to come back. This place, but it feels like I've been here. Well, it's okay. These things take time. Don't push yourself. If her memory Having comes back, is she gonna remember? Scraps. I won't stop until I have all the answers. Is she gonna turn into Alex, like, and try to murder me? That's also a plausible theory. Hmm. Okay, well, it's not that way. I guess we're not going back. Oh. Yeah, that was a dumb idea. Sorry about that, kiddo. The one moment I didn't let my dad powers activate, I would have caught you. It'd have been awesome. It would have been a sweet father-daughter moment again. I also probably could have just kicked the ladder instead of having both of us drop off of there, you know? Haha, -ha, look at that. Look at that. It's like I've played a resi before. Hmm. Locked gate, maybe? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because she just air freaking. She just air Natalia at her way off of there. Oh. Wouldn't you know it? I was going the wrong way. But I got a collectible out of it, so. All is fair. My theory is that Barry's daughter is alive and Alex Wester will be final boss. Could be. Guess we'll find out. That's the she Wesker, all right. <laughs> she Wesker. Don't you worry. Together, we're stronger than her. Little does he know that he is with the she Wesker. The real she Wesker. Poisonous gases are being emitted from the nearby fault lines. Brief exposure poses no health risk, but prolonged exposure leads to difficulty breathing and eventually a loss of consciousness, potentially followed by death. Take precautions and be mindful of your exposure time while working. Uh, hey, what's up, James? How's it going, fam? Guess we just go through door number one. There was nothing on the other side of door number one, but they are loading me yes. up with pistol bullets. You better stay here, sweetie. No way. I'm going with you. Are you sure you're up to it? <coughs> All right. Where is? We're just going to push through. As long as you can. 
You don't want this crap in your lungs. Okay. Was it sulfur? It said a fault line, right? So that should just be sulfur. Sulfuric gas. I'm assuming I'm going the right way. I could have went the wrong way. Oh, an electronic lock. Come on, Natalia. I know. I know, girl. We got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. Oh, whoo. Oh, take a deep breath. That's going to suck. That's probably all the... The only electronic lock we need to do, right? This isn't like a four lock mechanism or something stupid, is it? Oh, wait, there's more gas here, huh? Did you make it out of there? Okay, she made it out of there. We're good. We're good. Ooh, that is so annoying. Like they just flipped the mechanism on me. And I guess I got right. I guess I guessed correctly going the right way though. Right. Uh, it just goes down and down. That's where she is. Gosh, damn. Why do all of these bosses have to make the like getting to them as crazy as possible? Like, honestly, who in their right mind wants to have a mine shaft you have to go through? What happens if the elevator breaks? You're screwed. Looks like I need a lift activation key. It down. It's probably that way that I just ran past, but we're gonna go this way first. That's a ventilation system. If we can get it working, it might clear out the gas for us. Ooh, that would be nice. Cause I'm sure we're gonna have to run back through the mines eventually. As well dome as many of them as I can from up here. Okay, well I can't I can't hear him. Okay. Looks like I'm about to die. Like the fact that the gas is what's gonna is, is what's gonna kill me. Not like a zomber, like come on now, really? You 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 think Barry would oh of course Barry would die like that because I went the wrong effing way. Kiddo Yeah, we're gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh yep, I died. Yep, I'm dying. I'm dying! Oh, geez, Louise. Okay, could be worse. You'll die if you don't take proper breaths. Yeah, no shit. I gotta push that, don't I? Gosh, damn, my shot is so off right now. Okay, don't go down that hallway. It's a trap. Okay, 
Okay, so that is most of them. Yeah, that's most of them. Up here, up here, up here, up here. Oh, breath of fresh air. Okay. So the gas stays below. So anytime you find steps, you should be good. Is that what I'm... I did all that for a sapphire? Okay, I did all of that in that section for a sapphire. Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. I bet this would be painful on invisible mode. Okay, come up here, take a quick breath, and back into the fray. Need your help. Really? Dude, there's no way I'm gonna be able to open that here. Okay. He said there was a ventilation system somewhere, right? Come on. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, you jack wagon, dude, I'm dying here. I'm dying here. The monster. Come on, dude. Dude. This isn't the right way either. Uh, I mean, it's a way, so that's that's better than what I did have. So, I'm. A, I think that's the right way. Okay, don't worry about that. I don't think those dudes can open doors. I I honestly just don't think they can open doors. So. Oh, what? I thought I killed the tentacle mommy. Now I can't see. What if I just run? Can I can I just run? Do I have to kill the tentacle mommy? It never said I had to kill the tentacle mommy, did it? This is a bad spot. This is a bad spot. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. As long as Natalia makes it back out of here, I think we're okay. There's something ahead. Be careful. There we go. Didn't I need a key card? Do I have to kill this thing to get the key card?
Dude. Do, is, do I just have to hit the freaking lever or not? Hey, thanks for the sub, Marcus Nombrano. Much appreciated, fam. I'm going to assume I don't have to. Okay, let's try and rush back through this poison gas. Okay, it's the head. It's the head. Okay, so I did open the gate. Now I need... Do I need a key card? I don't think I need the gate. I, I don't think I need the key card. Hey, what's up, Endless? How's it going, fam? There it is. Uh... Oh, son of a biscuit eater. I'm trying not to curse in front of the child and look what you're making me do. Come on, kiddo, let's go. Oh, okay. Okay, now we don't have to deal with the poison gas anymore. That's one win. But I would like to go back because there was it some worked. loot I missed. We can get through now. Okay, there were some loot we missed. Okay, uh, I take that back. Uh, this was not, that's not gonna wait. That's not gonna wait. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, screw it. It's not worth it. Maybe it is worth it. I don't know. I'm pushing through. Okay, so that's one part done. Okay, I need the lift activation key. There's only a couple places I can think of a lift activation key. There's something ahead. Be careful. Okay, the head. The monster is coming. Left leg. Okay, more gas. Imagine that. Okay, this way, probably. Locked from the other side. Okay, so. Okay, here we go. So I can climb up here and escape the gas for a little bit. What? How? How am I getting up here? I don't know. That's locked from the... Ah, there it is. Okay. Hey, don't... 
die on me, old man. I need you to live, Brohim. I need you to live. Okay. Now we got to do some more murder lane. Now we got to do some more murder lane. Let's go, baby. This is my time to shine. Okay, it's the head. It's the head. It's the head. Okay. Okay, assault rifle ammo. Come on, 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 come on. Uh, so what's the plan? Try not to die. That's, that's the current plan. Come on. You can do it. You can, you can do it, Barry. You can do it. You can do it. You are a man. You are the man of the people. The man with the plan, so to speak. Oh, let's go. Let's freaking go, baby. Oh, man, I got it full. Okay, what do I do? What about... Let's try this. That helped. Okay, with lift activation key. Now, we should be through the mine section, right? <coughs> or not through. We should be through the poison gas section of the mine. Since we got to the poison gas, now... We could just go to the bottom of the mine and kick the shit out of Alex Wesker. Alright, we can finally get a little bit of that payback. There we go, baby. Come on. Come on, Natalia. We gotta get our vengeance. We gotta get our vengeance on. We gotta avenge my dead daughter and your dead parents. Why does Wesker have it in for you? I don't know. I only talked to her for a little while before I got really sleepy. And I guess the answers will have to come from her. I'm gonna shoot the answers out of her. I ain't gonna ask nicely, fam. I didn't climb to the bottom of this freaking mine shaft Ugh, to face Alex Wesker and ask her anything nicely. Okay, let's go, baby. You ready for this, Natalia? Hopefully you don't get all your memories back at once and try and kill me because that would kind of suck. Located. It needs authentication. Guess we're out of luck. No, we're not. Record located. Access granted. See? Told you. I told you she'd be able to get in. How did you? I don't know. It's like a vault in Fallout. And to be fair, I've only seen the Fallout TV show, but it still looks like a vault. What do you mean, try not to die? I mean, if I die, I can't beat the game. You have to stay alive long enough to beat the game. See? You've talked enough, old woman. Barry! I figured it out. Gonna theorize it. I'm gonna theorize it right now. Because I think this is what's happening. The ugly monster thing is not Alex Wesker it is Moira and Alex 
is actually Natalia because it's already been six months and she's already had her mind transferred in to Natalia. Moira down there knows that this is Alex that we're tracking down and we're going to try and kill the ugly Alex only to find out it's Moira and that we've actually been tra protecting Alex Wesker this entire time. That's what's going to happen. I've I've never played this game before. I've never seen it either. I, I this is just all my years and years of video game and movie logic hitting me at once. Specimen or quest for cultivation plant. Seventy human industrial zone residents in block seventeen twenty one. That's what's gonna happen right now. I'm sure it would blow my mind if I wasn't smart enough to put two and two together already. There's a mansion down here? It's like a movie. I wish I could live here. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Huh. I've had my fill of mansions. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody that's played a Resident Evil game has had their fill of mansions. Like there is always a mansion section. And it always looks like the same mansion every time. There's something ahead. Be careful. Me. Try and knife this dude. There we go. This does look a lot like Resi 1, though, doesn't it? I mean, you can never be too sure if it looks like the Resi 1 mansion because. All the mansions kind of look alike. Okay, put on his freaking tap dancing shoes again. Stop it. Was close. Did I not kill that thing? There it is. Luckily, I had all these herbs laying around. Oh, I can turn off my flashlight. Okay. So does my flashlight give me away like it does in uh, the Evil Within? And that's the reason I haven't been able to really sneak up on anybody? Okay, I need an emblem key. I don't know, can she? I wasn't really paying attention because I was trying not to get murdered. That doesn't fit there. Oh, I guess it I guess it does. I was like, wait a minute, that sticks out like a sore thumb. Is there a puzzle here I don't know about? Oh, dude, too easy. Oh, I needed this shower. Oh after all of this BS, a nice hot shower is just it just hits the spot. Too bad I ain't got a beer. Have me a shower beer. This door looks ominous enough, doesn't it? It's those things. Yeah, these dudes are definitely about to pop out of there. I've played enough Resident Alex Evils to know they're all about to bust out of here. Pass that up. Yeah, she gonna hold all my goodies. She's basically like a free storage unit, you know? She's just always got inventory available because she does absolutely nothing but point at stuff. Which I guess isn't necessarily a fair assumption because she did actually... She can actually defend herself a little bit with a brick. Like, that's a thing. Where's 
Yeah, I mean, she might have done a little animation like that, but I don't think she actually pushed him. Are you kidding me right now? Left leg, right leg. All that because for some reason he happened to turn at the last minuscule possible second that he could have. Oh, well. Okay, there's one. No. Okay, that basically didn't even move. That was a little cheap. What is this one? Ooh, a magnum ammo case. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Okay, these jack wagons. You guys stay in your test tubes, okay? Don't come out. I don't want to have to murdelate you. You don't want me to murdelate you. You guys want to live a happy and fulfilled life. Doing what? Whatever the hell it is you do. Just swimming in a test tube, thinking about some hot lady you used to hang out with back in the day. Going smoke bombs in case we run into some of them freaking invisibugs. <laughs> Report on the Ouroboros virus. The Ouroboros virus takes root in organic material. If injected into a corpse, it will create a core and then reorganizes organic material around that core, thereby reanimating the corpse. The core serves as the control center of the organic growth. Destroying the core will negate the reanimation process. Its ability to propagate in inorganic matter is extremely high. Were a sample ever breached the confines of this facility, this island would be turned into a graveyard. Security measures must be enforced to the strictest degree. Figures she would have degree. gotten her hands on Ouroboros too. I mean, her brother did kind of like invent Ouroboros. So it kind of makes sense she's got some Ouroboros. Researcher's Journal. Starting today, we begin research on the effects of the Ouroboros virus when used with corpses. Every day we receive a great number of corpses are delivered to our doorstep. Stuart certainly does work hard to ensure we never have a shortage of research materials. We started right off the bat injecting the virus into a corpse. The corpse became reanimated like some sort of marionette, an aggressive marionette to be sure. It attacked anyone it came in contact with. This line is starting to look more and more like bioweapons development. Uh-huh. What part of reanimating dead bodies um, did you think was not going to turn into biological weapons? You think we were just trying to reanimate Granny so she can have Christmas dinner with the kiddos one more time? Of course not. Okay, I don't have any new parts. Need a security card level two. Yeah, the Evil Within 2's intro cutscene does take a minute. It's not a short one. Okay, so there's a key card for level one. I feel like every facility, like research facility in some way, shape or form kind of looks like a mansion in the Resi series. The corpse of the researcher who was killed by the test subject was sent to the morgue in the back of the observation room. The body has been sterilized. Personal artifacts such as keys have also been sterilized and are being kept in the morgue. Probably need an emblem key to get in here, huh? Okay. I remember seeing a security level one door somewhere. I just honestly forgot where that door was. And I probably got to come all the way back here to open up the facility. 
That looks like a boss arena if I've ever seen one. You hear that? That sounded an awful lot like glass breaking, didn't it? I know I heard glass breaking somewhere. No, not this way. What about down here, huh? Nope, try up the stairs. Try, try again. Emblem key. Oh, yeah, he dead. He dead. He dead dead. See, he was once dead, and then he became undead, but now he's just dead. Say that ten times fast. I'll tell you right now, I ain't saying that ten times fast. He was once, he was once dead, then became undead. But now he's just dead. Let's see. One of these doors, I remember, needing a level one security key card. <laughs> Dude, these things are so much easier when you just get to murderate them like that, you know? Okay, another emblem. Another emblem door. Magnum ammo can't be good. You know when they give you magnum ammo, it's about to be a bad day. Research Facility Chief's Journal number one. Developing the T-Phobos virus turned out to be my lucky break. The other researchers didn't see any merit in it. A virus that triggers upon the subject feeling fear reacts to non repiniferin That's useless, they said. Fortu for Fortunately for me, Alex didn't think so. After reading my report on the virus, she became very interested in its unique properties and made me the head of the research team. As we neared its comp completion she then made me the chief researcher alex appreciates my genius it's an honor to work for her what was she trying to accomplish i mean it's resident evil they they just come up with some kind of excuse to always make viruses nope that's an emblem key okay so the answer is down this hallway No clue what that triangle is. This way? No, this way. Yep, this is the right way. Okay. Hmm. Like, I know I seen a level one security door at some point. Just where the hell did I see the level one security door? It's a bathroom. There's not a security door in there. the hell do you mean it hasn't seen us got him see and that's why i kept those baby that's why i kept those ah here it is Damn, that chainsaw guy in RE doesn't die. Nope, he certainly doesn't. One of the most resilient people ever. Okay, that guy's dead. Ooh, 
found the emblem key. Is there anything good in these? Yeah. Great. My lucky day. Gosh, damn it. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, just do this right here. See if she can see through these, huh? Nope. Shh. There's something ahead. Be careful. Okay, I don't think she can see through them, but I'm not gonna waste my time looking for ammo. So, just gonna keep on keeping on. Okay, now that I got the emblem key, though, that opens up a whole world of possibilities. Is it just me or is the Magnum and Resident Evil games when... Uh, I mean, a Magnum in any video game hits like a truck. Like, that's just a survival horror game trope. That the Magnum's the most powerful weapon in the game every time. Okay, I go back, I guess. But you're right, they always do start tap dancing. As soon as you, you know, pop open their core, they just start tap dancing around you. I should know this by now. I don't know why I keep wasting my ammo every time. Ooh, rare parts. Don't mind if I do. We gotta open all this up. Any uh, goodies? Oh, okay. Okay, there's well, there's what one or two more of these doors upstairs that I can go into. Emblem door, emblem door, emblem door. Does anybody else remember where the emblem doors were? No, they weren't in the shitters, that's for sure. Ah, shortcut. Okay. That just takes me to those that staircase that I was at earlier where I got the key card. Research Facility Chief's Journal Number 2. Today, Sturt came through and delivered the sample we've been waiting for, the Ouroboros virus. We've finished work on T. Phobos, so we'll be working on Ouroboros from now on. The underground level of the facility is being converted specifically for this purpose. I'm so thrilled to continue working under Alex's brilliance. Oh, yes, money. Got it. Uh, if you ask me, it's definitely Rev 2. Definitely Rev 2. I'm enjoying Rev 2 like... Gosh dang it, wrong button. Two to three times as much. Look at that. I was just running around searching and I found the level 2 key card. I wasn't even really trying. Four pistol bullets? Really? There's gotta be more stuff in here, right? I mean, I did have a key card, so I guess that's pretty good. There he goes, he's tap dancing! He's tap dancing! Too bad I'm not in the dancing mood. Also, I can just hurry up through here. 
I like this one. I like this section a lot more than I than the mine section. Let, let I'll lead off with that. The mines were atrocious. I don't mind running into stuff like that for this section. Okay, charge shot and burst plus one. So. Fire two bullets at once. Do I want to do that on my assault rifle? Let's see. Okay. Well, that's what I'm going to go with. I like it. You must be exhausted, Natalia. Need a break? Okay, I'm let's okay, see. Then. Uh Thanks anyway. Mine you. Uh pass that to you. You you pass that to me. Okay, we should be good. We should we we should be good. I got a lot of alcohol and stuff too, so Okay, so we're loaded up. We made it through here. This should be tracking towards a final boss of some variety. Like, we gotta be getting close. Look at that. They're loading us up. Okay, I got three splody bo I got three splody bottles. I got six herbs. Fire the firebomb bottle. Although I would be slightly agitated if we just have to fight another tentacle mommy. I thought there was only gonna be one tentacle mommy, but apparently that's just a metamorphosis. Got Barry's Magnum. Explosive barrel. I like it. Probably means there's going to be like some kind of crazy gas or something that starts leaking. As soon as I touch this door, all hell's going to break loose. To that one. Emergency. Emergency. Shit balls. Shit balls. Okay, got that one. Got that one. Ooh, that was clutch. That was clutch. Okay, and they're gonna send an invisible one at me, okay. one right what if the enemy was a muscle daddy well we already killed neil he's the only muscle daddy i think in the game right oh shit i was right there was a muscle mommy 
Come on, damn it. Okay, come on. Come on, Natalia. Get out of there, baby. Woo! Not quite sure how you didn't just light your giblets on fire, but good work. I don't think the charge shot's really working, but... Okay, there it is. Muscle Mommy's done. Muscle Mommy's done. Or not Muscle Mommy. Tentacle Mommy, sorry. Okay, it's the head. First try, baby. First try. All right, get in. Yeah, let me Hold on, bucko. I need to reload. I have like no ammo. That tentacle mommy pretty much took all the took all the ammo we had. Don't be scared. It's okay. I got you. Although I know exactly, I have a theory on exactly what's gonna happen. It's not gonna be good for me, but. This song. You know it. Oh. I know I don't like it. Yeah. Well, I don't like this place either because they got some creepy kids on fire stuff going on right here. Burning dolls and whatnot. My buddy Leon dealt with a cult once and he said it was a nightmare, so I, I definitely don't feel like joining him. Well, your teddy bear's dead. Wow. What have you got against her? Hatred of Natalia. I survived. My escape wasn't death. I have no one to blame but myself. When I pulled the trigger in that instant, the thought of vanishing from this world, me, me of all people, I came to feel fear. How ironic. The virus is inside of me, rotting away my body to the point of death, saved me from death. I have become ugly, hideous. I can't stand the sight of myself. This isn't me, this ugly creature. But soon, another me will awaken. The vessel I transferred myself into. I won't allow it. I forbid it. She is the ugly one. Yet, she'll look at me and laugh at how hideous I am. Why have I become so hideous? I am me, but I am not. I awakened as myself, but then she will also awaken as me. Both are true. No, there can only be one true me, and that is me. She can never be me. She is false. She is a farce. That is why she cannot be allowed to persist. She must be eliminated. I am me, only I am true. I'll use that abomination, Albert's final legacy. I'll smother this insufferable island with Ouroboros. She will be eviscerated. She will come to no fear. You will feel the icy embrace of Nadeth, Talia. And then, when you die, false one, I will take your body. I will become the true me. Natalia, you must die. Well, maybe my theory was wrong. It won't be the first time my theories didn't pan out. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, this definitely feels like the final run. I got creepy music playing in the background. I got some creepy boss lady saying true or false. I got a bunch of ammo. I had me a workbench. I'm running up the hill to this creepy doorway here. Like, I feel like this is it. Like that at all uh but uh okay well i'm gonna run around and try and find some stuff Ooh, can i play the piano real quick can i tickle the ivories right before i go tickle the wesker like she'd been taking way too much Wagovi and she like overdosed on it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we, I, I'm, I'm going to unload with the Magnum baby. Okay, I'm, I'm still good. I'm still good. Okay, I got I got low. Okay, come on. Oh, is she pulling off her body? Yeah, this actually, I the the movement she has is weird. Cause she can take up like this whole area here. Natalia, vile imposter, you will die. Oh, okay. She wants. She she wants to take. She wants to take the fight down south. She wants to take the fight down south. Let's go. Dude, we watched her jump over the railing, bro. Oh, she keeps crawling in the vents. Yeah, I definitely don't like this version of her. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I liked her better when she looked like the hunchback in Notre Dame. Reject what was given to you, and I reject you. 
Okay, there she is. Dude, like, seriously, like, how do these bosses always just take... How, how is she taking 15 Magnum bullets? Okay, she died, right? That's her dying? That's her dying? There we go, baby. Now what? I'm out of bullets. Okay, I see. Okay, she just ripped her freaking heart out. Natalia, what are you? Natalia? Now you can call me Alex. No, don't make me do it. Make you do what, fairy? So obviously he didn't do it. I was wrong about Moira, but I was right about Natalia. She's now Alex Wesker. And that's it. I'm sure there's something in the DLC, I guess, probably, that explains that, because I don't think any like I don't think Natalia's ever popped up in another game, so. Bounty 
hunter get a total of 50,000 BP? True or false? Clear episode four. And as I said, I don't think you get a trophy for beating the game on any difficulty. That should have been the last, like, story-based gimme trophy right there for clearing episode four. So we beat the game for the first time. It only took me right at about 10 hours. So that's actually a pretty good time, I think. It's like an average of two and a half hours a chapter. So I'll take that. Unlock bonus weapon, the Chicago typewriter. I unlocked the bow gun. Some figurines and some concept art. Need more bullets, a thousand BP. Unlocked rotten figurine and then again i didn't get a whole lot of stuff um i'm assuming i don't know if that's the bad ending or the good ending i'm assuming that if i let moira shoot what's his face instead of claire that they'll probably both be alive and that'll alter the ending because then Wyra will be alive. I think. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. What, what, what do we got here? Let's look at some stuff. Ooh, I can actually look at the trophies. That's what I need to do. I need to find out what we need to need to accomplish here. Uh, never saw this. Yeah, so I guess this is probably the bad ending if everybody's saying they've never seen it. <laughs> okay, so you get a trophy for beating episode one in Countdown and Invisible. Escape from the detention center in episode one without using the flamethrower. Okay, defeat 100 revenants. I think revenants are those things with the glowy feet or the glowy spots. Defeat 100 enemies with the knife. Eesh. I'm definitely probably going to have to do some BP upgrading for that. Uh, defeat 50 enemies with physical attacks in the main campaign. Perform 50 follow-ups in the main campaign. So I think a, a follow-up is the like twist kick. Defeat 20 enemies with stealth attacks. Close. Use Moira's Light to stun 50 enemies. So I need to focus on that. Kill 50 enemies with the crowbar. Defeat 20 enemies with a brick. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard. Clear episode one using only the knife. That's probably going to suck. Defeat two enemies with one shot in the main campaign. Destroy 30 revenant weapon arms. Shoot down 30 afflicted in mid jump. Have Myra stun an enemy and Claire follow up with a physical attack. Save your captured partner 10 times. Defeat five enemies with one exploding bottle or one firebomb. Clear one raid mode. Clear one... Cl evaluate an item in raid mode. Clear one gauntlet in raid mode. And then episode two. Get all the medals in episode two. Okay, kill Pedro. Episode three. Get all medals in episode three. Okay, Moira defeats Neil. Again, there's probably a hidden trophy for doing something. Defeat six or more glasps in the monument. Okay, and complete both routes through the landfill. I don't quite know how to do that. But all medals, completing the game on countdown and invisible mode. And then doing some miscellaneous ones. So it's not, not too bad of a trophy list, I don't think. I think that's... I think that right there... The magazine that keeps on giving is probably infinite ammo. Clear all four of them in three hours? Jeez. Yeah, okay, so I got the bad ending.
Okay. Not doing raid, gallery, rewards. Isn't there a way like I can buy stuff? Okay, so I have to buy all of these. Okay, so I have to spend it a thousand BP to get, so I've got all the alternates. I'm not gonna waste it on classic outfits. Are any of these guns good? Uh, exchange that for raid mode gold, huh? Okay. Chicago typewriter. Chicago typewriter, Revelations 2. Okay. That's a lot. Okay, what was the other thing? A bow gun? Is the bow gun any good? I don't know if that's any good or not, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with it. Oh I'm not doing the I'm not doing the DLC fam. I'm not doing the DLC. Uh countdown mode. I don't know if I wanna do that or not yet. So I need to figure out what I need to do. Okay, hurler. Reduce the time it takes to use a green herb. Increase firepower while crouching. Increase firepower for the first shot. Increase the attack power of Moira's cross. Okay, so I got to do that anyway. Because there's a trophy required for that one. Increase Natalia's attack power with the brick. Hmm. That's probably a really good one to have. Ooh, knife attacks, yep. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that that's probably a good thing to have. The firepower while crouched. I really kind of want to get unholstered as well. Why was that one 12 grand for the crop for the crowbar? Let's 
What's this? I really want that. Increase knife attack power. And then cancel. And that's a lot. What were some of the other trophies I had to get? Hold up. This is faster. This should answer my questions fairly quickly. Okay. So, complete all four episodes. We did that. Uh, the reason I saved my BP was to get Bounty Hunter. Already got it. Next, it recommends completing every episode on Countdown. Okay, but first, before, before I kick off... I mean, I am going to find a way to spend the rest of this. So... Probably the bricks. Because I, I need to get kills with bricks at some point, right? Okay, so that's pretty much everything. So what I'm going to do... Um... I am going to replay through on casual on countdown or I guess countdown tells you what level it is already right there isn't a level select for countdown um, anyway I'm gonna go do the countdown I'm gonna try and do the countdown playthrough of every episode that's what I think we're gonna do next um, I will be live for at least another three hours I might push it to five depending on how far we get but uh that's what I'm gonna do but first I'm gonna Go to the bathroom real quick, and then I'll be right back. Okay, countdown. Countdown. Countdown mode is on normal difficulty. Good, I already beat the game on normal, so that shouldn't be too big a deal. Typewriter is always good. Can't remember the bowgun. Uh, yeah, I might buy the typewriter uh, after I go through a couple of playthroughs because there's a couple of these things that I really want to try and focus on getting. Uh, to make some of the other trophies easier and I don't want to waste the 10 grand that the 10 grand's a lot um, I love how Sebastian is surprised to see a monster like how he's not faced monster evil within him yeah that's true he's definitely like come on dude yeah let's go ahead and do uh, alternate outfits you know how it be Yes. I say again, yes. We are doing alternate outfits. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, I guess I probably shouldn't do it on Claire and Moira yet. Uh, because I do want to get the other alternate house. Let's go one more with default so I can get the, uh, the true ending and the true ending look decent. And then after that, we'll start messing around with the costumes. Clear the episode within the time limit. You can extend the time limit by destroying the hourglasses found throughout the stage. Utilize both characters' abilities to avoid confrontations and clear the episode. 
there's medals in this oh my god wait oh so it doesn't give me an alternate ending in countdown mode so I would have to replay through the story again to get the alternate ending. Okay, here. Do we want to do countdown mode or do we want to play through again to get the alternate ending? Countdown mode would be the fastest way to go for the platinum. Okay, well. Get the good ending. Well, let me see. Let me see what the trophies are. Let me, uh... Let me go through the trophies. Because going for the good ending basically means I'm not going to get any... I'm not going to work towards the trophies. Okay, defeat a th 100 enemies in the night with the knife. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hold on, let me write down what I need to be going for. Because I'm going to go for the miscellaneous trophies. Complete both landfill routes. Um, Complete both routes through the landfill in Chapter 4. Defeat six glasps. In Claire's episode. Okay, I'll just do episode four. Both landfill routes. With Barry. Um, what else was it? Six glasps with care Claire. Okay, we got that. Um, episode three, Wire kills Neil. I think that's the only hidden trophy. A episode two. Bill Mutant Pedro. <laughs> Clear episode one with just a knife. Escape without flamethrower. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Escape without the flamethrower. And then obviously just miscellaneous trophies. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for all the miscellaneous trophies. I'm going to try and do all these alternates. 
for episode one, two, three, and four, I might not clear the entire chapter with a knife because I don't think I'm gonna be able to escape with the flamethrower while just using the knife. And then all these other things. So we'll see. <laughs> oh, okay. But we'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, the crossbow's up. Was there one for upgrading the knife? There it is. Okay, I still need 9,000 for that. Before I can drop 15,000 on increasing the knife. Okay. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, no big deal. Besides, I kinda need to do I, I kinda need to do a couple runs through anyway so I could try and get better at countdown mode. Bio terror. I'm skipping cutscenes though. The world lives with it. You live with it. Viruses are stored. Maybe not. Re-engineered. Misused with Can I not skip cutscenes? There we go. I was like, come on now. Don't know, don't care. Why did it open? I didn't open do up. anything. Open up. Open up. Open up. Okay, so I do have all my weapons again. Oh, she moves so slow. There we go. Okay. Is that Moira? Oh my god. Moira. Moira. Are you okay? All of them. If you kill the enemy and then restart the mission, does it count? I have no clue. None of this makes any sense. What did we do? I wish I could tell you. This is so messed up. What do you think this place was? Keep your eyes peeled for those little blue things, too. I definitely need to get more of those little blue things, those little blue medallion things that I was shooting. I don't think my knife does a whole lot of damage, so I might be rolling. Actually, I need to be rolling more as Moira anyway, because I need to be focused on getting stuns. And crossbow kills, but it won't let me do it right now. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta roll as Claire for the time being. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's it's Did some chick getting murdered. We've totally already seen this this happen. Like it's just some chick getting murdered. You'll be okay. <laughs> I need to save up a bunch of ammo so we can murlate Neil anyway. Or Pedro, whatever his name is. The dude that turns in the bar. I think we can squeeze under this. Give me a hand, Moira. Go! Let me switch. Let me switch to Moira. I want to kill some shit with the cross or the, the, the crowbar. 
I gotta get Krober kills. <laughs> it is on casual difficulty now though, so that that's also a plus. You know what? You can just have that chick. I, I don't want her. Holy shit, it's gonna kill her. Come on, hurry. Man, you have a firm grasp of reality, don't you, sister? We know she's gonna get murdered. I don't care. Okay. Oh, you know what I could also be doing? Is there a way to see my medals before I do them? Or do I have to memorize the medals for each? Oh, I do not. Okay. Defeat three enemies using a stealth attack. Defeat eight enemies with sub weapons. Stun ten enemies with Mora's light. Uh, open three military boxes. And found six hidden items with Moira. Okay. Dude, she's already dead. Just, just, just there we go. Oh, I can hear the wind out there. This must be the way out. Now we need to find a way through. Okay, I got the P10. What kind of whack job would here? Where is it at? Where? There she is. There she is. Where did the dude that was murdering that chick go off to, you know? Yeah, I figured that one out, Sivishaw. I assumed that one. Lock me side. Picture perfect. Okay. Still can't switch to... Switch to our girl over there yet. <laughs> ah. All right, we made it. Keys over there. Oh, this place reeks. Oh yeah, there's a. Uh... Wait, did, didn't it get stuck on that last time? Why didn't it get stuck on it this time? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now that's teamwork. Have Moira stun an enemy and clear follow up with a physical attack in the main campaign. Too easy. I'm not doing the knife only run. I'm not going to do the knife only run of it until I get the upgraded knife. Should be this way, I guess. Okay, get out of my, get out of my way. There it is. There it is. I'm gonna have to climb back up over there or something. Can't do this alone. When is this going to end? Let's double back and try the key. Well, it's. 
see. I got to I got to flash. I got to flash lights to people anyway. Keep pushing. Let's keep pushing. Come on, come on, come on. Is he dead? Yeah, okay, I think he's dead. We're gonna definitely get the 50 kills with the crowbar. We're definitely gonna get the 50 kills with the crowbar. I'm also going to try and beat it this time without using the flamethrower. So we got that to look forward to. You need a gun too, Moira. Yeah, I'm not going for the I'm not going for the knife only run, bro. Sorry, I don't do firearms. Not after what happened. Shit. I'm sorry. I forgot. Uh, maybe we can find you something else. No, I'll just be on flashlight duty or something. It's fine. I think there's something shiny there, but I can't make it out. Let me hit it with a flashlight. Nice. Oh, there's the crowbar I, I was supposed to get. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Uh, pass that up. Pass that up. Pass that up. Pass that up. I guess actually, I probably do need to. I do need to keep these. Since I'm gonna be primarily playing as Moira. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I, I'll be fine. I, I want to use the Krober. Yeah, there's that little mini heifer. You saw that, right? Yeah, I saw something. <laughs> Make sure I just don't see anything on the walls here that I'm missing. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm still trying to get the medals, and one of the medals was for finding six things with Moira, but I just didn't use Moira the first time, so... Okay. If I had a crowbar what are you talking about? and wanted to blast it upside some person's head. Oh, come on, just let me shoot the let me shoot the ceiling. To us or at us. There we go. Okay. Okay, that one's already been grabbed. So it saves the parts that I find. So I need to make sure I don't burn that up. Ugh, fucking technology. It's a it's a gear. What do you think? Do you know how machines work? Clearly not. 
Okay, I'm not gonna bother reading stuff. I already read it. Oh, that looks comfy. Okay, dude's yeah, in there. Look at this machine. There's something stuck in it. Of course. Okay, let's try here. That sucks that I can't get I can't like stack my weapons. Like I can't have like four damage fours, you know? Okay, capacity up. Let's go ahead and put it on burst. Scatter, quick load, got it. Firing rate, charge shot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with those. I ah, uh, those look good to me. Those those weapons look good. I think I'm gonna be okay. I think I'll be okay. It's locked from the other side. Okay, yeah, that's right. That's right. I gotta come back here. I gotta come back here. See, this is another reason why I'm glad that y'all talked me into a second playthrough for miscellaneous trophies instead. Moira, I'll give you a boost. See if you can climb up. Okay. Because in doing so, it forces me to re-memorize the map a little bit before the countdown. That just—I mean, I'm not gonna do countdown mode today. That's gonna be a Wednesday thing. Come on, there it is. Try that. No, not that one. Try this one. Ooh, that was almost right in the middle. Okay, green herb. This definitely seems like a section where they would hide some stuff for Moira. I guess I was wrong. Claire, this way. She gonna come up here? Do I really have to I have to be here to go up a ladder? Oh well. Okay. Maybe once we're outside we can find someone to help us. Need to find six thingy majiggers. They also got those weird symbols on the on the walls and stuff. Hmm. I just want to get out of here. Found six hidden items with Moira. Opened three military boxes. Got it. Uh, are the Revelations games worth playing? I think so. I think so. I think they're both pretty good. In my opinion, uh, Revelations 2 is a bit better than Rev 1. But that's, again, just my opinion. Okay, mm. well, I'm, I'm, I'm getting good at finding stuff. Oh, dude, I missed a bunch of stuff. We're gonna have so much ammo left over. Okay. There he is. Oh, yeah, come on. I gotta get 50 crowbar kills anyway, so I'm all for it. I still not, I still haven't found six hidden items yet. I mean, that's, I've gotta be close to six hidden items, you know?
Come on, man. There he is. Dude, Claire's gonna have such an abundance of ammo, dude. Dude, she is just gonna be locked, cocked, and loaded. Definitely probably not gonna run into that problem like I did with Neil the first time where I was basically out of ammo. I think this is what constitutes a military box. I gotta open up one more of these. Hmm. Are what's placed in the military box is random? Nothing? Dude, you can knife kill that guy? Dude, it is so easy to knife people on casual. Wasn't there a thing for stealth kills anyway? There's also a thing for buzzsaw kills. A lot of kill related stuff. Ah, rusty key. Really? Come on, man. There we go. Oh, okay. That's the shortcut. That's the shortcut. Got it. But I mean, considering I killed most of those dudes. That, that has got to be six of them, right? I still have not... Do, do you not get medals until the end? Bugs. Of course there's got to be bugs. Easy crowbar kills, right? These things probably count as crowbar kills. You probably get to 50 crowbar kills just by killing those people every time. Oh, there we go. Boost me up, Claire. do this alone hmm. oh gosh damn it no I'm supposed to drop something down there I think I don't remember off the top of my head yeah well we're not gonna hit that yet
Oh, so if you stun them first, they just like die. What is this? Okay, well, I found a Kafka drawing. Found some Topaz. Come on, dude. There we go. Okay, that's what it was. That's what it was. There wasn't a box or anything. I just had to drop down to that one spot. I want the trophy for Crowbar kills. We're gonna make this run worth something, damn it. We are gonna make this run worth oh something. God. Are you okay? Yeah, I was almost a clear sandwich. Oh, just very tell everyone that story. Well, at least we got power. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just realized what story she was talking about. When she said I was almost a Claire sandwich, she's like, does Barry tell everybody that story? I think she's talking about when you save Jill from the room in Resident Evil 1 because he's like, she's like, ah, oh, I was almost a Jill sandwich. I think that's what they were referencing there. I think. Don't think I'm some kind of lore specialist because I'm definitely not. What? I don't think this is the room I wanted to go into. Crowbar, it, the crowbar's goaded. Crowbar officially goaded, fam. Come on. Look at Moira just over, see, she's just over here laying down the hate. MC Hammer ain't got nothing. Woo! Okay, I've definitely found more stuff. I've definitely found more than six items. I wonder what this, the like all time speed run is for this. I'm willing to bet it's just insanity. Okay, come on. You know what? I thought I needed the knife. I don't need it.
Okay, so those explode. I didn't realize the decoys exploded. Come on. There we go. Come on, Moira. Look at that, dude. Look at that. She is just slaying it. Like, who needs Claire Redfield right now? When in doubt, hire a Burton. Come on, man. Just stab him right in the boat angle. He's there he is. I need to open at least one more military case for a medal. Look at that. Oh, you jackhole. Think you could take my wrench? Oh, dude. He thinks he could take me with a wrench. Moira was objecting to using a gun at first just because of like the moralness of using a gun. I'm like, but then she's okay with like beating dudes to death with a crowbar. I mean, her backstory makes it a little bit more reasonable. Still, you are beating these poor, helpless human beings to death with a crowbar. We just stack in the body count, baby. Dude, are these guys... Is there an unlimited supply of these a-holes? Okay, you gotta tell me that... There, is there really an, a limitless supply? Like, where are they coming from? are definitely like an infinite spawn there has got to be an infinite spawn of these guys come on man okay we're gonna we're we're gonna run through because i don't think they stop spam spawning i think they're infinite so we're just gonna go with it claire do something Claire, I'm not asking for much. Just keep this guy off my back. There it is. I don't know how I managed to do that. Oh, okay. That, that was insane. I didn't realize they were infinite. I thought I could just kill those dudes and it'd be fine. Who needs fire escape from the detention center in Claire's episode one without using the flamethrower bust? Easier said than done. Um, I didn't realize there was an infinite spawn of those dudes. That's actually not the easiest thing in the world, but I mean, it's also not the hardest thing in the world. So one less trophy. 
that place very Let's much. freaking go, baby. Uh, escape without flamethrower. That one's done. Okay, and. Again with these st stupid bracelets. Gosh, I thought I could skip it Who when she talked. You? I want answers. I am the overseer. Fear requires an audience and a conductor. And a conductor. Overseer. You must go to the Vosik, where life begins. What do you want from us? Nice. Real nice. Oh, yep, yeah, she done talking. She done talking. She don't want none. She don't want none of the smoke. She knows she about to get dunked on. Claire, here, look. Over there. Okay, let's get over there now. Radio tower. Maybe we can send an SOS. Okay, so here's a third one. That should be good enough for a metal. I don't think I got enough stealth kills, but the stealth kill is going to come in the, the knife only run. I opened three military boxes. I definitely found six hidden items. I landed to defeat three enemies using the stealth attack, which I do believe I did that. I'm pretty sure I stunned 10 enemies with Mora's Light, but I might not have done that either. Nothing there. There it is. See? Look, I knew it. I'm getting so good at that now. I can completely say that Claire is freaking loaded to the gills with ammo. Look at that, 132 rounds. Bruh, who the hell, who the hell is going to recognize Pedro when we get done? Hollywood, that wasn't really close to easy. Okay. Listen, Moira, I'm really sorry. I don't know what I got you mixed up in. Mary will never forgive me. This isn't your fault. Also, Barry can kiss my ass. I can see how the... And moans and I can see how the metals everything. would be quite time-consuming. You can switch between characters. Ah, that would have been smart, yeah. Oh, well. Didn't need it. Clearly. I got really lucky, though, with the placement. I just kind of winged it. A lot of that comes down to a dumb AI and a uh, keen sense of timing. So? <sighs> so I got all the bronze medals and I've got two of the silvers next time I need to stun with 10 enemies defeat eight enemies with rotating blades knock down an enemy five times by blinding them and then hitting them with a physical attack um and then defeat eight enemies with a headshot. So that's going to be another playthrough. I got a bunch of stuff for it, though. Okay, so... What do I need to do? 
Um, I need to buy the rope-a-dope. I need to be able to withstand killing blows. I need to buy that at least once. And then I need to spend it on the knife. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Barry! <laughs> My boy! <laughs> um. I don't have anything with Barry. I don't have uh, a side hustle with the Bear Meister for a trophy. So, with that being said, since I don't have uh, something you like that, stay up. by the boat, little lady. I mean it. I've got some no, grown-up stuff to attend to, but I'll come back for you later. Okay. That's that is so much you better. Just leave me. No, 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 no. It's too dangerous for you to come along. Okay, so what do I need to do on this level? Skills? No. Found six hidden eyes with Natalia. I already did that. Escaped the darkness of the forest, starting from the detour hut within 40 seconds. Opened two gimmick boxes. Defeat six enemies with a knife. Defeat six enemies with a stealth attack. Defeat eight enemies with subs. Defeat two enemies with a follow-up attack. And hit enemies with Natalia's brick 15 times. Okay, well we'll see how we'll, we'll see how many of these medals we can knock out because clearly that's gonna be radio tower. That's gotta the be preferred it. method. What are you doing all along? Where are your parents? I don't have any parents. And I don't know why I'm here. I just am. She got you just like she got my baby. Yeah. Your baby's dead. I definitely seen that. But on the bright side, we should be able to stack a bunch of ammo in this one as well. You're not scared of me? No. You're all right. Watch out! Yeah, I'm just not dealing with that. What the? They're not a, a way up. This is the way to go, yes? Oh, it's right here. Whoops. I was like, I know there's a climbing section over here somewhere. So what's your name, sweetie? Natalia. Alex, Alex Wesker. My name's Barry. Barry? That's right, don't wear it out. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's, I just have to hit enemies with Natalia's brick. I don't have to kill them with it. Looks like this is the only way through. Yeah, I can't switch to her yet, but I've already found six hidden items with her. And I've only got to open up two of the gimmick boxes. There's probably only two gimmick boxes in this level. Look at all them herbs, baby. 
Don't need no cloth. She's got explosives. That's good enough for me. Okay. We're gonna go knife. We're, we're mostly gonna knife through these beginning sections to Monsters? stack ammo. I also need to get an abundance of stealth kills anyway. Gosh damn it, I can't run backwards. I was thinking maybe I could just go backwards and then I can worry about stealth killing these a-holes. The, the infected the brief mentioned. Dude, I love how it's giving me so much assault rifle ammo right from the get-go. Like casual's gonna be dope. can just sort of see them because she's awesome there's something ahead be careful oh no you don't young lady it's too dangerous why i'm not scared okay there's three of them there's three or four of them shambling around in there you just let me handle this one From the shadows, defeat 20 enemies with stealth attacks in the main campaign. Let's go, baby. We just stack in the miscellaneous trophies. Look at that. They're so dumb on casual. It's embarrassing. I swear if I die on this difficulty, I'm going to have a lot of explaining to do. Only gotta kill six with stealth. Two enemies with a follow up. I gotta defeat six enemies total with a knife. There's no way I'm not gonna do that. And then defeat eight with sub weapons. Sub weapons is just gonna have to be a, a separate venture in and of itself. Okay, so this way. Nope, don't want cloth. I don't need no cloth. That's not what I was wanting to do. I was hoping to get a follow-up attack in there, but I guess that's too much to ask. Well, he's dead. It's very, very reassuring how tanky I am on casual difficulty, though. 
The only problem with that is I think that I might have to go up to normal difficulty to get some of these medals. Dude, it's so easy to break that, dude. Okay, all clear. <laughs> You're braver than me. I actually think I did miss. I think I actually did just miss a miscellaneous trophy, but um, I'm also gonna get it whenever I do the knife only run of level one. So hopefully, anyway. Okay, that way. Let's go this way. Okay, there's got to be an enemy somewhere, right? Okay. That's fine. I've got a brick, and I'm not afraid to use it. Careful! There's something on the floor. Not what I wanted to do. Oh, she can push. Okay, he did. He did. Or I need to use less powerful weapons. Okay. Well, looks like I gotta... See, look. He's just murder lighting him. Okay, any more bricks? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep bricking them. I think there's a thing for killing 20 people with bricks anyway. Oh, nothing over here, nothing over here. Look at Barry. Dude, Barry's just straight stacking bodies, fam. He's here to stack bodies. That's all he's doing over there, just stacking them. This way? No. What the heck? How do I get back to Barry? You did great. No, I don't care if Barry has to fight him, dude. He's fine. He's fine by himself. Why would we tempt fate? Why would we tempt fate? See? It was even faster than I thought. 
place is seriously messed up. I need to find some more bricks. I need to find some more bricks. We're almost to the radio tower. You recognize any of this? Nope, sure don't. No. I'm trying to run through the haunted forest, but I think that's level right. two, not level one. I'm just pretending Living. this is. Yeah, I have strong legs. Still with me, dude. You're a mile behind with your old ass. I'm just straight booking it. It's locked. What do I do? You need to break the lock. Find a brick. See anything around there you can use? Uh, no. Oh, it looks like I found a rock or a brick, maybe. Good work, sweet. Okay, here we go. Do I still got a brick? Yeah, now your boy got a now. Now I got a brick. Yeah, there's a brick. Just stick close. To Still you. got me a brick. Okay. This is the haunted forest, right? We're just gonna sprint. I thought there was a trophy for this. But it said from the detour hut. What's the detour hut? Something out there. Oh, it's this jack wagon. Uh, I can't believe you're still streaming. Still first playthrough. No, I've already uh, beat the game once. Where'd it go? Thinking this is the detour hut. Should be up. Maybe not. Hey. Now it is. Now it is. What's, that? What's wrong? Yeah. Well, that's one thing they left out of the brief. This island is completely there. Crazy. It is okay. Now we're talking. I was right. It was up. Uh, no, technically this. Is, I mean, this is the second half of the first episode. What was that thing? I don't know. Keep our eyes peeled in case there's more. Come on. Trying to get through this in 40 seconds. I clearly went the wrong way. R Dude, how? Since when do they move this fast?
Okay, left foot. Yeah, I was supposed to run through this place in like 30 seconds or 40 seconds. That did not pan out. I'm gonna have to figure out a better route. What was my reaction about Alex Wesker? What do you mean? Finally, a clearing. Whoa now, whoa now, whoa now, people. My reaction was not to restart. Everybody wanted me to restart, and I obliged. I don't really care what ending I get. Okay, this is the detour hut. That is the detour hut. Those freaks had some of the same symptoms as Ouroboros. Robo? <laughs> It's a virus some bad people used in Africa a couple of years ago. Question is, how did it get out here? No, I'm not going to get it. I shouldn't have went in the house if I wanted to do that. I can probably break this lock. Maybe this is the detour hut? I don't know. Can't just leave Natalia. Well, I mean, I'm not going to make it in. I'm not going to make it in this one anyway. So I might as well go through this stuff. When you knew the villain was Wesker's sister... I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't like a jaw dropping response, if that's what you're asking. Okay, I got this. Ooh, damage level three. I like that. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's... But take that from her. Take that. I mean, I got so many. I got so many heals. I don't need it. I don't need it. Now we're talking. Yeah, I kind of figured it was the other one. I just have to go through that, kill the two dudes. If I if I really want to do that, I just need to have a molly cock ready to go. The radio tower is just ahead. Okay, let's stop using the machine gun. Let's keep using the pistol. Ah. 
Oh, come on, dude. How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to do anything with that? Right foot. Right foot, left stomp. Left foot, left stomp. Cha-cha, real smooth. Charlie Brown. To the left. Take it back now, y'all. Oh, yeah, 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 now I remember. I'm supposed to go touch the gate. Great. Why will it not let me skip his cutscenes? His is like one of the only ones I can't skip. I do gotta kill like a hundred of these a-holes. Okay, here we go, here we go. Now, if I was a regenerator or whatever the hell they call these things, where would I be hiding? Dude, casual is too easy with those things. Too easy. Yeah, the burst shot's definitely making light work of these yahoos. Ah, that should get the crane working. Definitely making light work of these yahoos. Okay, you guys wanna... You guys got any of your homies coming? I'm about to tell them to get lost. I don't wanna have to shoot you in the face. But I will gladly shoot you in the face. It's taking like what? Two bullets? Two bullets? We're on casual here. Two bullets is nothing on casual. Okay. Who's the master of unlocking now, huh? <laughs> like I said, I see what he did there. Nothing. I thought there were more dudes. I was trying to get stealth kills, but oh well. You all right? Fine. I'll have to come back and do this one all knife up anyway, all knife only. That was a really long way around. That was an exceptionally long workaround. There it was. So, defeat two enemies with a follow-up attack. I did that. Defeated five Revenant by only hitting their weak spots. So, I got a gold one out of the way. That's not too bad. 
I like it. I might have screwed myself with doing this. No, that just means I'll have to play solely as Claire and Barry through the beginning. Because they're the only ones that get weapons. Oh my gosh, to get the knife, I have to get all of these? Do I have to get brick kills? What do you think about Claire when she left Mora behind? I mean, Claire dies if she doesn't leave her behind. I mean, it's an easy decision. You either go back and you both die or you jump and only one of you die. Defeat 100 revenants, defeat 100 enemies with a knife. Form 50 follow-ups, stun 50 times, 50 enemies with a crowbar, defeat 20 enemies with a brick. Okay, so I do have to get brick kills. Save your captured partner 10 times in the main campaign. That's going to happen a lot because I'm consistently playing as the other characters to ensure maximum ammo to speed things up. Previously on Revelations 2. I can skip those. They do have a really sexy voice for the previously on Resident Evil Revelations 2. It's not like uh the dude in Dragon Ball Z. It's like Previously on Dragon Ball Z, yada 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 happened, and then Goku powered up immensely, and now for the final showdown. Like, he's got that really deep voice. <laughs> Just a little different. Do you think Leon or Chris would make the same decision? Uh, Chris did make the same decision when he left Piers behind. Leon's always by himself, so I don't know. Probably. We woke up in the middle of the woods. How about you? I would say they would both make the same decision, yes. Gabe. Gina's dead. Oh, shit. Thompson's gone too. Yeah, but I remember to take his bracelet. Eddie would want me to find out. Okay, so decoys are gonna be off his key. hand. Sometimes you have to make the hard choice. Come on, let's see what's in this building. Dude, I'm going to have so much ammo for dealing with, uh, what's his face? I can't even think of his name right now. Um, because he doesn't actually matter. But that guy, he's going to get freaking murdered. Welcome to the brink of true fear. The overseer. What do you want? And Mora made that decision for Claire. How is it any different? what Piers and Mora did. Other than one injected himself with a virus and then pushed Chris into an escape pod, whereas Mora pushed uh, Claire out of the way and then got crushed. I mean, it's the same decision. There's literally no difference other than time and location. I gotta show you something. Uh, do we have to go with him? Probably, huh? Okay, just show me to the chopper and I will do the rest. Oh, man, I hope Fisher's okay. Neil? Neil was with you? Yeah. We got split up on the way here. <laughs> do you think you can fly this? Once I repair it, there's not enough voltage. It needs a new battery. 
some fuel. Oh, and we're gonna find exactly what we need in this shit dump. From my experience, yes. Help me look. Dude, there's always batteries and fuel lying around, Mora. I mean, I know you're technically dead at this point, but you'll learn. Bam, there was there was no saving her. It doesn't matter who it was. Either both of you die or one of you die. There is no Hollywood ending. At least in that section. Maybe there is because I chose differently. Maybe it changes it up enough to where it is a Hollywood ending. Pedro! But guess what? Unhappy endings are still endings. Ooh. Okay, found six hidden items with Moira. I escaped the village without taking damage from Mutant Pedro the first time, which is kind of crazy that I did that. Um, I mean, that's just a bit much. Sheva's African, dude. Okay, hold on. I got I gotta go kill MC Hammer real quick. Oh, Hollywood, not Bollywood. Oh, I see what I see what you're saying now. I see what you're saying now. I was like, wait a minute, bro. Like, come on now. I was like, don't don't be don't be uh hating on Sheva like that, but I see what you're saying. You're right. Like some of the stuff in Bollywood movies. Are, are kind of insane like some of the stuff it's quite funny yeah i was supposed to be like going fast about this i'm actually wasting a lot of time scrounging for stuff but Bling. okay i got some handgun handgun Dude, there is so much stuff lying around. Like, if you take the time to play as Moira, you find so much stuff. I'm sure I'll find a shit ton of stuff. I'm already at, like, three. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was there something in there that I needed to grab? Well, there's a sapphire I walked right past, so I guess that's something. Okay, nothing in here. Oh, now. Wasn't there the drill door over here? Ah. You think Pedro can get through with that drill of his? Only one way to find out. I forgot to talk to him, didn't I? We could use that drill of yours there right now. If you don't mind doing a little demolishing. No problema. Just point me in the right direction. Dude, I don't know. I've never played the DLC. I have to Google it, fam. You're gonna have to Google it, because this ain't a DLC channel, baby. Okay, yeah, up here, bro. This door right here. Is this the place? Okay, stand back. Back. What? We gotta hold them up. 
I feel like she keeps stealing all my kills. She's definitely stealing it. I mean, I know a lot. I know a lot, but I don't know that answer, fam. Like I said, I'm not a DLC guy, so, ooh. I can do blunt weapons. Use Moira's crowbar to defeat 50 enemies in the main campaign. I honestly thought that was going to take me a lot longer, not all the way to the second chapter. But, uh, hey, we got it. So, technically, I don't have to use Moira. I mean, I still do. I still got to use Moira to, like, stun guys. Hey, glad you can make it, GMQ. There it is. Uh. Oh yeah, baby. Here's some fuel. Dude, Where it's still fun to use the crowbar. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I kind of like not using actual weapons. Dude, that's kind of crazy. Like, look at all this ammo. No interference. Nice work, Pedro. Her location might be the key to getting off the island. Look at all that. Jeez, dude, look at that. Okay, give me back the game. What do you think about the game so far? Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Got it. Yeah. Thanks for the reminder, Bolt. I totally almost forgot that I still have to get the trophy for the light. I've still got to get the trophy for stunning a bunch of people. Uh, but I definitely like this one a lot more than Revelations. It's definitely going to want a lot higher on the list than Revelations will. And it's actually a lot more fun um, doing it with, like, just the crowbar and not using the weapons. Like, I didn't think it would be that way, but it definitely is. Claire, the lights are on in that one house. Yeah, there's definitely a battery in here somewhere. Come on. I didn't even think you could stun these dudes with the... Uh, with the light. Yeah. Yeah, good D. I'm not, I'm not complaining, fam. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Like, I actually do like not using the guns. Dude, it's a good game. Like, I mean, I can't knock it. You know, it's it's just a good game. And like, look at like look at the ammo right now. Like, That's my ammo doing. I have is absurd. Let's bring it back to Gabe. Oh, gosh damn it I'm lost I'm lost uh left right here yep there it is and then another left 
There he is. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. There he is. Hey, congrats, Alex. Hopefully it went well for you, fam. Hopefully it went well for you. Uh, flashlight stuns everyone, but it burns, uh, the Incredible Hulk. Okay. Good to know. Work, Redfield. But I'm surprised. Now it's my turn to work some magic. Greasy chopper repairing voodoo magic. To this day, this is one of your favorite ones. I like it. I don't know if it's my favorite. I don't quite know if it's my favorite, but I do like it. She's luring those things right toward us. I mean, I rage at a lot of Resident Evil games. I mean, it doesn't necessarily narrow it down. I've probably raged at just about every game I've ever played. Gotta go upstairs and turn the turn the awooga off, right? Of course it has to be Claire. I'm not an electrician. Ah, my back pillow is just not sitting right. Can I not stun them? Can I not stun these guys? I don't know what to do. Step one, fucking chill out. Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna turn into a gosh damn monster if you don't quit freaking out, bro. I like how this guy has a shotgun and he's just screaming bloody murder. stay in here we we want this guy to freak out i i don't know if he's gonna freak out if i keep murdering everybody why can she one shot the zombies because i have a burst action I have the burst equipped to the pistol and damage up on it so she can a burst kills pretty much every zombie uh i'm not a fan of uh revelations one but i mean it's not a horrible game Did I kill him too efficiently? Ah, there we go. Oh. 
Come on, I guess I'll just go. I, well, I don't want to die, so I'm just gonna keep murdering. There she is. Yeah, come on. Okay, so we got bit, right? So as long as he gets bit, he should freaking freak, right? Gosh damn it. Freaking a-hole. He'll freak out, it's scripted. Perfect. Pedro and clears episode two. So, I mean, he wasn't hard and now he's dead. So we're good. Next trophy. Okay, here we go. Uh, remember, after this, you used to play the lowest rated RE game. The faster you finish this, the faster you finish that. Which is one of the lowest rated one RE6. Uh, it's the lowest rated, like, game facts and IGN wise. It's not a bad game. I'm not really worried about RE6. Like, I actually enjoy Resident Evil 6. What I did not enjoy was Resident Evil Revelations. Yeah, I'm supposed to go to the, I'm supposed to climb up the ladder, right? Uh, I love RE6 to be honest. I like Leon and Ada part. The rest is just too action packed for me to handle. I mean, it's it's not that action packed. Claire, over here. Leon Bring sections up. definitely survival horror esque. Resident Evil. I mean, Chris and Piers's campaigns not any more action packed than Resident Evil Five was. And Jake and Sherry's is probably about the same as Chris and uh, what? I can't even remember that chick's name. Helena or Chris and Piers. Yeah. Hope so. Yeah, that's definitely a lie, fam. There, there's no way everybody in the Resident Evil what community hates it. What about games? I'm sure there's like survival horror purists that hate it. Can't risk staying here. But I'm not a survival horror purist. I like horror games. Resident Evil 6 is a good action horror game. Through here. Give me a hand. Ready? Lift. So question is, will Pedro come back in Barry's bit or is he dead dead? That is a good question. I honestly don't know. I guess we'll find out. Rev 1's story cannot make up for its raid mode. It's not going to happen. 
I don't know exactly where I have all 12 of the canon games rated yet. I haven't made the list yet. But I can certainly assure you that Revelations 1 is going to be in the bottom three. I guarantee you it'll be bottom three. You know, I'm I'm glad you're okay. Gabe said you guys got split up. Yeah, but I run fast. Jim managed. So, um, what was that monster back there? It was Pedro. The overseer gave us all some kind of viral injection. The virus triggered in Pedro when he got too scared. I think I've heard of it. A virus that responds to fear. Jesus. We're supposed to be protecting people from viruses, not catching them. <laughs> Irony sure is a dick. Moira, I don't think you actually met Neil. He's our boss. Neil Fisher. You're Barry Burton's girl, Yeah, right? Neil Uchiha. Do me a favor, and don't put Barry and me in the same sentence. Sir. Okay. Uh... Did I not just pick up Magnum ammo? Okay, here we go. Boop. Look at that, and some shotgun ammo. It's gonna be so easy to schwack Incredible Neil. Uh, Alex, should I do the same thing you're doing? I got RE0 around last week. Like getting them, platting them all in uh, canonical order. I don't think it's a bad idea. Bad idea. We should wait for dawn. I enjoyed it. By dawn, we might all end up like Pedro. I've enjoyed the challenge so far. Let's see, RE6 story is really good if you think about it. I mean, I don't have to think about it to tell you it's a good story. I liked it. Like I said, I think the only people that really hate on it are like Die Hard, uh, oh, no, 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 no. survival horror fans. And I think I, I, I'd honestly say that's probably it. It's because you went solo. Otherwise, it's a pretty good game. Nah, fam. You can't convince me otherwise. You, you cannot convince me it's a good game. Even if you went, even if you did co-op raid mode, you cannot convince me that Revelations 1 is a top tier Resident Evil game. It, it is way too buggy. Way, way too buggy. If RE9 comes out before you complete your Platinum Journey, will you automatically add it to the collection? Dude, like, unless it comes out, like, relatively quick, I'm gonna be done with the, uh, Resident Evil, uh, Platinums. Like, after Revelations, I've got six... And then seven and eight. And both of those, like seven and eight are both really quick. Six is only long because you got four separate campaigns and you've got um, a lot of grinding to do. Okay, what 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 all do I need what all do I need to do here? I need to defeat three enemies with a stealth attack, so I probably need to do that. They're back. They must have been the island's residents. Why the hell would the overseer turn a whole island into whatever? Assuming she Enjoyed you seem to have not enjoyed Resident Evil Revelations one. No. I I did not enjoy Revelations one. Will I Platinum Resident Evil 9 when it comes out? Yeah, probably. I'll probably go for it. Might as well, right? It'd be the only canonical Resident Evil I didn't have the Platinum for at that point. Neil. Come on! 
I promise I'll catch up. Just get to that tower. Come on, you freaks! Catch me if you can! What happens if you don't get the medals? I didn't like this game, so just cleared it once. Uh, the medals stack, so if you don't get the medals in this playthrough, you just get them in, a ne in the next playthrough. It really doesn't do anything unless you're trying to go for the, the trophies. I'm sure there's probably some in-game perks you get for having all the the medals but i don't know what they are oh yeah come on dude this guy's got a different face plate on you see that Is it just me or is this guy taking way more damage than the other ones were? Hey, 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 Jack Wagon. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Player, heal yourself. Probably need this for something. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure I'll need it for something. Looks like them shotgun shells. The best part is that perk that allows her to shoot does not waste any of your actual bullets. So you actually do gain a lot by just playing as Mora instead. Uh, that's not gonna be too hard, fam. I've, already, I've I've beaten Resident Evil 7 like 15 times. Like, I know where everything is. I know where all the jump scares are. So it's really not gonna affect me too much. I mean, there might be one or two jump scares out there. I'm not saying there aren't one or two jump scares that might get me, but for the most part, I know what all of them are. Okay, you can definitely one-hit these dudes with stealth. If you stealth kill these guys, you can definitely one-hit them. Hopefully, he his, his fat butt turns around. Uh, I thought it'd be your first time. Nope, I've already done. I've already beaten Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil Village like 15 times. Come on, dude. Dude, I don't I, I want to stealth this guy. Okay, I still have it. Okay, so now he's on alert. Okay, gosh damn it. Yes, I've beaten the game on Madhouse. Madhouse really isn't that bad, fam. Village of Shadows is a lot harder than Madhouse. 
And I have beaten Resident Evil Village on Village of Shadows before, so. I would say I am uniquely qualified for that. But yes, I have beaten the game on Madhouse. And I have gotten all of the coins on Madhouse. In fact, I have already gotten the Platinum Trophy for Resident Evil 7 once before. Marguerite's not the hardest it isn't even the hardest boss fight in Resident Evil 7 the hardest boss fight is the final one against Daddy Baker you have to play that almost perfectly otherwise you die in like two hits yeah we saw her in the prison she has a bracelet you think she's part of the experiment I'm making a, a RE inspired team, game. If the team. game is successful, is will you 100% it? It just depends. It just depends on if I have time or not. Dude, they just they just throw out Magnum ammo in this in this difficulty. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet of magnum ammo. Oh, come on! Dude, it makes it really easy considering she can shoot him. Since she has the ability to shoot him, it's really easy. Nope. And there we go. Oh, look at that. Two for two. Dude, Claire is getting certifiably effed up. Like, I'm over here, nothing but a Krober, just living my best life, and she's getting schwacked. Yeah, I got a... I got a stun... Oh my goodness, I can make those guys explode from a distance with the flashlight. Nifty. That is nifty. That's a little kid. Okay, I don't need the cloth. I do need that. Follow me. Yeah, right. Wait. Okay. Do you think Mora could win a fight against Rebecca? Hands down. It doesn't stay open long. I bet she We're can I, I, I bet she can win that fight in less than 30 seconds. I bet she wins that fight in less than 30 seconds. Well, that sucks. 
Oh, dude, that wears away so fast in this. She's a train stars medic. She is a medic. Hands down, I would put money on it that Moira would win. It's in her. It's in her genes, fam. It's in her genes. Barry Burton is her father. I should have tried to stealth that guy. I really need to start trying to do more stealth. Where'd she run off to? Ada. Ada versus Jill. It's not even tough, fam. Ada. Jill versus Sheva. Well, we already seen that one now, didn't we? Sheva already won that fight. But in a 1v1, probably Jill. No Daddy Chris there to help? Probably Jill. Because Jill was manhandling Daddy Chris. So I, I would say Jill probably. Don't be scared. So you managed to stay away from the monsters all by yourself? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a little bit easier when you know the truth You're about her. Brave girl, but this will all be over soon. Listen, there's a bad lady in the tower out there. Moira, did you hear that? Yeah, another one of those walking shit stains. Sorry, I mean butt stains. Jill had Wesker as a teammate in a fight to kill while Sheva fight to save her. No, she wouldn't, dude. She, there's no way she would win. Jill had... Listen, there, you're right. At the beginning, Jill did have Wesker as a teammate, but then Wesker left halfway through, and she still kicked the shit out of Daddy Chris and Sheva. She kicked the shit out of them. Had Daddy Chris not been there, Sheva would have lost. Hands down. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna have to do some murder light in here. I'll probably use mostly explosives right here. Defeated eight enemies with sub weapons. I gotta kill enemies with sub weapons anyway. Okay, yep, he caught me, he caught me.
keep remembering to make these because I gotta Okay, he's down he's down he's down If both fights to kill Sheva would let her be in the same grave as Wesker nah fam that's just that's here. that's exactly like your opinion on uh let's go get the girl on rebecca chambers being anything but a waste of space it's just not accurate but i mean everybody's entitled to an opinion i'm just telling you that it wouldn't happen but who knows we'll probably never know because oh crap 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 i just wasted that oh well how about Carlos versus Code Veronica? Chris, Chris, any day of the week. We can't forget about the girl. Listen, Chris might not have been Daddy Chris at that point, but he was still Chris. So I'm gonna say, probably Chris. It's safe now. Can you find your way over? Like the JoJo series, if you had a bio weapon for a stand, who or what would it be? I, I don't know what you're talking about, fam. I've never watched... I've never watched JoJo. I don't know what a bioweapon as a stand means. I can fit through that hole. Yeah, go ahead, Natalia. Or Alex. It explains why she doesn't like getting blasted in the face of the flashlight now. It all makes sense. Because she's infected. <laughs> Buy a weapon like Wesker Power or Tyrant? Pre-Uroboros pre wow. Wesker? What service? Not even a question, fam. The ty being the tyrant would That's suck. A really cute bear. Is he your friend? Dude, Wesker, Wesker was out there kicking the shit out of people, tagging women, knocking them up, doing whatever he wanted. He was living his best life before he got infected with the Ouroboros. Do I know Persona? Like, I've played Persona 4 once in my life. So, I mean, I know it in the sense that I've played Persona 4 for like five hours. Okay, stunned 10 enemies with Mora's Light, defeated 8 enemies with sub weapons, defeated 3 enemies using the stealth attack. So I still need to do 3 stealth attacks. And then I gotta do that gold medal. I didn't open three military boxes, really? Oh, well, I've already got that one. I just didn't get it this time around. So the, the fully grayed out ones are the only ones I need, which are the two gold and one silver. Hey! I got an S, baby! Nine thousand. Okay, so that one's gonna suck. Claire and Barry become able to perform a follow up. Oh, so they can stomp out enemies. I see, I see. Okay. That's gonna be so dope. That 15,000 that I'm about to drop on the knife attack is gonna suck though. That's a lot. I don't think you have to, I don't, I don't think there was a trophy for getting every skill. So I think that'll be fine. I don't think I have to worry about that. I will say though that I will probably just finish out this section and then that'll probably be it for today. Moira was trying to get to that tower when I was with her. 
Leon versus Chris. I'd put my money on Chris. Listen, honey. I need. I don't see Leon twist kicking boulders out of his way. Persona series, if you had a bio weapon for a persona, no who or what would it be? I would say uh, Wesker from Resident Evil Zero. Wesker from Resident Evil Zero. Okay, gameplay stats, medals. Beat six enemies using stealth, eight enemies with sub weapons, six enemies with the knife. Six hidden items is Natalia. Defeat five revenant using stealth attacks. Okay. Defeat mutant Pedro by destroying all of his eyes. What's up, Breck? How's it going, fam? No, Moira would drive you crazy. No, Moira would race. <laughs> Chris is strong, one. but Leon is more agile. Okay. Here you go. Here you go, fam. This is what it place? would be like to watch Chris versus Daddy Leon. Okay. A woman needs to that would be like putting Conor McGregor in the same a ring as Brock Lesnar. A woman. The overseer? I read the debrief about her little experiment. Re Wesker's definitely in Resident Evil Zero, fam. I know for a fact he is, because I've got the platinum for Resident Evil Zero. And you're right, Ada always manages to manipulate Leon every single time. So, he's got a weak mind. Strike number two against Leon. But you're right, Victor. Chris is stronger. Leon is more agile. It'd be one hell of a fight. I just think it's going to be Daddy Chris in the end. Over there. Find some cover. I'll pick them off before they spot us. Ada always winning against Chris with her cunning ways. I mean, yeah, it's Ada Wong. Ada Wong's a super spy. If you said a fight between Leon and, a and Ada Wong, I would also say Ada Wong. Besides, Chris isn't going to openly just hit a woman for no reason. Ethan versus Leon? Leon all day. Ethan versus Leon. I'm going Leon. Is this the way I was supposed to go? I think this is the way I was supposed to go. This looks like the way I'm supposed to go. How's the run going? I mean, it's not going too bad. I've already beat the game once. Everybody wanted me to go get the alternate ending, so that's what I'm working on now. It's not going to happen this stream. Um, because that would take me another five hours, probably. Hey, glad you could stop by. Glad you could stop by. Live streams where it's at, fam. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I thoroughly enjoy making the videos, but... A lot crazier stuff happens in the live stream that never quite makes it into the video. There's a lot of stuff left on the cutting room floor. I need a key. Yeah. See, I already have forgotten some of these sections. There it is. Smoke screen bottle. Okay, okay. Okay, I think she said left foot.
And that guy's right foot. Okay, he's good. He's good. Oh, come on, man. That's a good one. Ooh, that's another one. So far, what do I think is the scariest Resident Evil game? I don't really think any of the Resident Evil games are that scary. But if I had to pick one, I'd say Resident Evil 7 is the scariest of the Resident Evils. Yeah, probably seven. I I'm I'm comfortable with the answer being seven. <laughs> ah. Come on. Should be a key in here, right? <laughs> RE1? I can, I guess I can see that. I don't think any of the old school games are really that scary just because graphics and sound design wasn't there. But hey, I mean, to each their own. That's why opinions are great. Everybody gets their own. Did RE7 scare you the first time you played it? Uh, I'm sure there are... Uh, that, I did RE7 the first time back when I was on my old YouTube channel. I'm sure there's some jump scares somewhere in it. I'm sure it did somewhere. I, I honestly can't remember. But I'm quite certain it probably did at some point scare me, yeah. Is that where you met Moira? Over there? When I first played 2 Remake and was constantly being chased by Tyrant. Okay. I can see that. Tyrant encounters. Definitely an uptick. Zombie dogs through the window. I remember that. I, I like I said, I just don't think that I, think I, I guess I was just too old and I was too ingrained in In horror games when I went through those it just didn't scare Master. me Something over there. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I was in my 20s whenever I started playing those games. So, like, it's it's obviously not going to be that scary when you're in your 20s. Yeah, 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 I know. My controller's about to die. Well, your boy ain't messing around this time. It's getting closer. 
Oh, that was a lucky yeet. Holy Invisible crap, monster. was that a, a lucky oh, yeet. It's gonna be fun. But uh, yeah, Victor, RE1 with the new engine is going to be amazing. And I'm pretty sure they already confirmed they're remaking RE1 in the new engine. I don't know when it's supposed to release, but I know I seen a video about it. Somebody really trashed this place. What the hell happened? Oh, so he gets the drill right here. He gets the drill right there. So I'm guessing Pedro is already dead dead. Don't think we're going to be seeing Pedro anytime soon, fam. If I go the same exact way this time, I think I think you do go basically the same way every single time. I definitely didn't miss the enemy with that bottle. It was... I will say, still a lucky yeet. It's getting closer. Mmm. Here's a crazy idea. The exact same release date was the first RE back in 1996. You mean like them releasing it with the same exact release date as back in 1996? I mean, I could see that. But you're right. RE5 remake is going to... It's going to go hard in the paint, fam. I think all the remakes go hard in the paint. I think every single one goes hard. I used to be able to squeeze through. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if they did something like that. It definitely would not surprise me. The monster is coming. Dude, his pistol is so much girthier than than Claire's. Like his pistol with that burst is Insane. Where we at? I wish I had a brick. Just a single brick. So that I could brick some freaking dudes. Here comes the rain. Are you going to be warm enough? I'll be all right. So where are your mom and dad? They died. 
in Terragrigia. You were there when the city went down? Yeah, RE9's probably gonna be pretty dope. None of this could have been easy. You're a tough guy. Thanks. I mean, it's either gonna be really good or it's gonna be it's really bad. Like I don't think there's gonna be any in between. People like you from bio terrorists. We shouldn't have let you down. So where'd you go? Terra Safe put me in a home, a facility. I'm sorry, Natalia. I won't ask any more questions. Yeah, keep your opinions to yourself, Barry. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's definitely been a hot minute. Nice of them to wait for us. Okay, yeah, that was not the enemy I should have done that to. Okay, headshot. Imagine playing stealth all the time in RE9 trying to discover yeah, hidden treasures. I can see that. I wouldn't mind that. Like I said, like I am enjoying not using the guns. That's usually not something I say either. I mean, uh, unless they mention it in the DLC, I'm gonna say no. Unless they mention it via DLC. Cause like I said, I haven't played the DLC and I'm not gonna play the DLC. I'm sure they'll remake every game eventually like they're gonna make what they think is gonna make them the most money first they're not gonna waste time remaking a game they don't think is gonna make them a lot of money Okay, here we go. Let's, let's go ahead and sneak kill this dude. I'm assuming sneak kills don't count as knife kills. The thing that sucks is there's only like three dudes. I should have been able to sneak kill my way through this entire room, but nope. I was saying, I think this is the last time you hear about Natalia in general. I don't remember her being in any other game or movie. Yeah, I'm with Victor on that, dude. Like, listen, don't even bother remaking. Do not bother remaking Resident Evil 5 if you're not going to make a co-op. Don't bother. Like that's not like I'm not even I'm not even gonna be quiet about that. Like I'll be honest right here. If it you're shooting yourself in the foot if you don't make if you don't make it co op.
Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm enjoying stealth in this game. In this game. I do not typically enjoy stealth in video games at all, and I do mean ever. I was mostly talking about not necessarily using the gun. Games that require you to be stealthy, I'm not a super big fan of. Because, uh, I'm not very good at stealth games. Don't you move those cheeks. Don't you... There it is. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's the head. Like I said, just this game in particular. Exactly. Hey, there's something over there. You never actually know what they're going to do. Oh, that's cool. So if you if you slide that in there, it actually activates it for Barry as well. So you can bypass that entire section. Ooh, I'm gonna have to memorize that. What do you feel is the most memorable moment of Resident Evil 7? Probably when she crawls up the stairs at the very beginning when Mia crawls up the stairs out of the dark This is where I met Moira Good, let's pick up the pace Oh my gosh, if you kill him at the beginning you just get so much good stuff I just bypassed like an entire 15 minutes. Hey, there's the dude from the helicopter. See his hand? This guy's got the same exact bracelet as you. Moira had one too. Like sisters. What kind of messed up experiment that guy. was this? Ah, caught himself. Caught himself. Pretty sure I just sprint down to the finish, right? I just sprint to the finish. Nice guy. The one from who rescued me. Yeah, if you play the if you've played Resident Evil 8, you know that, yeah. She made it. Welcome to the family, son's a pretty pretty creepy moment, yeah. I'll give you that. This place seems changed. Yeah, pretty creepy, huh? Oh, yeah. Ah, man. But yeah, you probably should, uh, refrain from spoiling any of the further games. 
I kind of I, I agree with it on that If you haven't played it Yeah, that sucks Yeah, so just from now on fam like no more talking about plot points from any of the Resident Evil games Because I'm sure there are some people here that haven't played it Alex, you'll have to play Resident Evil Village. It's a weird... It'll make sense after you play Village. Let's just put it that way. I, I, I don't want to further spoil anything. So yeah, fam, just from now on, just cold turkey. Don't be talking about plot points from the Resident Evil games. It's not fair to some people that haven't got, to, got a chance to play it themselves. Ugh... Dude, I didn't get anything that that level, dude. Gosh damn. But that is all the time I have for today's video, fam. So, um I mean, I I could go I could go longer, but uh my wife wants me to to help get dinner done and, and and some other things and i'm i've been live for eight hours that's quite a long time fam i'm i'm parched i'm tired i smell like i just played a game of pickup basketball at the gym um but it was fun i enjoyed it uh we're gonna this is exactly where we left off the last video right so i got the last two chapters which i think will be much much faster now that I've already beaten them. Um, yeah, since I've already beaten them, they should fly by. So I'm not going to be live again until Wednesday. Wednesday night, I'll be live at the standard 7 p.m. time frame. And then hopefully we'll get the uh, second ending and begin to start in on those uh, like speed run mode. I don't quite know what it's going to be. But either way, if you like this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up remember to smash that subscribe slash follow button and ring that notification bell so you never miss a new video and with all that being said i hope you have an amazing day and i'll see you in the next video all right catch y'all in the next one fam